Check one, two. Hello, hello. Is anybody there? Are we live? Is it working? Andrew Walton. Hello. You guys hear me? Please don't turn this into hack and slash. I don't get it. What would I be turning into hack and slash? DL Brown. Hello, Harry. What's up? T. What's up, man? Yasmin, Gonzo, Larry. My first time here live. You're in the last hour of the last episode? Nice. Are you watching... Uh, Bummadur, are you watching the Let's Play series? Or are you watching the live stream Let's Play series? Out of curiosity. Because I have two separate runs going right now. A few people have been confusing both of those characters. But my non stream run is a Wood Elf, and it's a neutral good run. And my live stream run is a Dragonborn, and it's an evil run. Okay. Well, thank you all for being here tonight. We're not going to waste too much time because it is Sunday night, and I know a lot of you guys got to work in the morning. So, what's up, LG? We're going to head to the tavern and jump right in. Last session, we teamed up with Nier, and uh, there was a lot of death in Grimforge. So today, maybe we'll finish up Grimforge, and then maybe head to the Mountain Pass. Starting to get really, uh, really excited to once again leave the early access content and head into the new areas. So that would be really cool if we make it to the mountain pass tonight. I don't know if I actually will. There's this one character that I'm hoping that we come across. A very famous character in the Forgotten Realms. And I plan on trying to kill him. And it's going to be epic. And I think I'm going to get my ass kicked, but I plan on trying it. And if I succeed, I will take his head and put it on a pike at my camp. To the tavern. Like your Wood Elf Ranger. Can't wait to see how the rest of the story goes. Man, it's getting insane, Andrew. I'm a few episodes ahead of what you guys are watching, because I don't want to release all the episodes in one day, but yeah. Oh, the next episode's pretty crazy. Moonrise Towers is a lot of fun. Witcher Steve, thank you so much for the 499 super chat. Having a hard time waiting for the PS5 version. Help? Yeah, I can help you. You gotta you gotta Do you have a PC of any type? Do you have a MacBook? Do you have a, an old PC? Because you can play the game on GeForce now. Right now. You'd have to buy the game on Steam though, but you can play on GeForce now, which is like a streaming service. And you might even be able to play GeForce now on your PlayStation 5 right now and play Baldur's Gate 3. So make sure to look into that. A lot of people aren't aware of that, but basically almost everyone can play Baldur's Gate 3 right now, even if you're on console. You just have to look into what GeForce now is. Well, thanks for the dono. More death? The tavern is right. Hell yeah. Todd, what's up? A change from ranger tank to paladin. Yeah, you know, the ranger tank can be a little underwhelming at times. But you know, the ranger just fits me. Paladin's too powerful, okay? Can't play a paladin unbalanced. That would make the game too easy. Alright, let's jump right into it. It should be coming to Xbox, but uh, Larian's latest update on that is 2024. They're having a lot of development problems with the Series S, and Microsoft has a requirement where you must release a game exactly the same on the Series S as the Series X. And that gives a lot of developers problems in an amazing game like Baldur's Gate 3. The Series S isn't really cutting it. <laughs> so Larian's having some problems with the split screen. K 
capabilities on the Series S, so they're not able to launch it yet on Xbox. But like I said, GeForce Now. I'm not sponsored by GeForce Now. I don't give a shit if you guys play it or you don't play it, but if you're looking to play Baldur's Gate 3, look into GeForce Now. A lot of people in this community also vouch for it. You might seriously be able to just start GeForce Now up on your Xbox right now and be playing Baldur's Gate 3 tonight. With that said, you would have to buy it, and then you have to buy it again on Xbox if you plan on playing Xbox in the future, but... Hey, Amis, what's up? Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Midori. Binge the last two seasons? Thanks, Amis. I appreciate you watching. I know, it's crazy. Okay, Nier asked us to report on a situation to Moonrise Towers. This might be our chance to infiltrate the heart of the Absolute's power. Minthara told us of a creature in her service who can guide us safely to Moonrise Towers. We can meet him and his minions at the mountain pass. A Dwergar mentioned the Adamantine Forge was nearby. Shadowheart told us that she had allowed her memory to be suppressed so she can serve Shar without compromising her. So we're going to focus on the Adamantine Forge right now. And this is actually content that a lot of people miss. So let's figure out what this adamantine forge is all about. Never a dull moment. Really got to do some inventory organization. I was running behind though, and I like to do this off stream because it takes me a while. We'll figure it out. I'm not sure what my split's going to be yet. Either two or three into Warlock. I haven't really thought that far ahead. I just know the Sorlock can be a really good D&D build. We're going to test it out a little bit. Um, I should be hitting level 6. Maybe tonight. We'll see. It's weird having a Starion in my group. Because in my other, my other group, I don't have anybody that can pick locks. Can't give up now. Keep getting my Dragonborn and a Starion mixed up. They both got white hair. Hey, Chief, what's up? Appreciate it. I'm a little bit nervous about about the Adamantine Forge on Tactician. I wonder, like, some of you guys might not know what's there, so I don't want to spoil it yet, but I'm wondering how much more difficult it's going to be, if at all. Deed of Ownership. Let it be known. From the Fardrim to the Firelands, from Mordenver to the Spawning Deep. The Iron Hand Gnomes, with the blessings of the Shield of the Golden Hills, declare possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of Underdark territory beneath the Western Heartlands. Ignore this deed under penalty of imprisonment or death. Walburn Bung. Alright, let's, um, let's go unlock the waypoint. I think I got most of the loot here. Bar what's oh freaking Barkus man? This is the gnome that we saved from the windmill. The bloody amulet. Yeah, we're gonna pick that up. Cause I think the bloody amulet's actually gonna be a quest when we get to the city of Baldur's Gate. Locations of interest: Elfsong Tavern, Blushing Mermaid, Moonhaven Ruins, Underdark. Walbrin likely taken by force. So Walbrin is Barkus Root's friend, and he's trying to find him. I will find him. So when we get to the city, I'm going to pick this book up. We should be checking the Elfsong Tavern, the Blushing Mermaid, Moonhaven, and well, also the Underdark while we're here. Um, but when we get to the city, Elfsong and Blushing, I'm assuming that Walburn is going to be in one of those places. Watch your back. Okay, so we could get up to... I could Misty Step or jump over there. Um... Could Still go a alive. different way too. So that's progress. Let me see if you can get over from over here. Oh no, they don't let you. They don't let you sneak on by over here. So in that case, could go back here. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let me see if I have a potion of strength. I do. I think I'd rather use this than use my Misty Step Scroll. 
So now we should be able to jump. Look at that. We don't even need the entire party over here. And we got our first mold here, the splint mold. This is going to be really heavy. Huh. A steel mold used in forges to cast armor and weapons. Used in forges to cast armor and weapons. So let's go ahead and send that to Shadow Hearts. We're going to be doing a little crafting today, y'all. If I can finish the adamantine forge, that is. I don't get my ass kicked. Lawful good barbarian killed the Starion the moment he tried to bite him. That's funny. On my way. Yeah, I can understand why a Starion dies in a lot of people's playthroughs. He puts a knife to your neck when you first meet him, and then he tries biting you. Elixir of lightning resistance, bark skin, and scroll of blink. So I was testing out blink on my level 8 wizard or level 9 wizard. Pretty good spell. Really cool. Like right after you finish your wizard's turn, um, the game rolls a d20. And if you get 11 or higher, your your wizard goes into the ethereal plane and basically just becomes a wisp. And then that entire round of combat, nobody can target your wizard. And then when it comes back to your wizard's turn, they come back to the material plane. You can cast a spell. And then after that, you might go back to the ethereal plane. Really cool. Maybe I'll try it out. Hey, back away, y'all. What's up? Tavern Brawler? That's funny. Digging my Storm Cleric. That sounds pretty cool. Immune to electricity damage? Nice. Hey, Sven. Be able to right-click on items and send them to companions that way, too. You know what's cool is uh, I didn't know this until I put out my video today. To inspect things, to inspect enemies, I used to right-click on them and hit examine. All you gotta do is hit T. That's it. And it brings it right up. That saves a step, too. That's nice. Look at that. With that said, I'm, you know, a thousand something hours into this game, if you include early access. So my habits have been formed. So <laughs> I know um, Larian updated the guidance mechanic to where you have to choose if you want to cast at level one or two or something like that. And in my other series, I, I, I keep forgetting I have to hit guidance twice to get it to work. But people don't realize I've played early access for like 1200 hours and only had to click on guidance one time. So in the full game, when that gets changed, it is very, very hard for me to click on guidance twice because I am just in, I have formed so many hard habits in this game. I don't even think about what I'm doing. My hands just naturally go through certain movements. And when Larian changes some of those things up, it really throws me off. All right, so we unlock the waypoint so we can get everybody else over here. And I think there's another mold right here. Ooh, dark vision. We do, we have another mold, and this is the mace mold. You know, honestly, I might even do the mace because I don't have a good weapon for Shadowheart right now, although we're probably gonna get one when we go to the mountain pass. I'm using a crappy mace with her. Rocky, thanks for the five pound super chat. Hi, Wolf, just wanna thank you for your content. I've been enjoying it for many years. I can finally get back. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Let's Very generous. EG3 is so good. Hell yeah. All right, so we got two molds. I think there might be like five total. We also have to find some mithril ore. No time to dally. And I'm trying to think here. Do I want to? Do we want to go down to the forge right now? Or do we want to do this little side area over here? Oh, there's some mithril ore right there. There's also mithril ore down here too. Okay, let's go this way. I'm a little bit nervous about the adamantine forge right now. I think I would rather come down here first, and let's just get it over with. Blazing heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. Look how amazing this game! Isn't that incredible? The environments in this game. This definitely feels like the Mines of Moria on Lord of the Rings. Hey, Dooms, what's up, hey, Andy? I think shield armor would last a lot longer before the update comes. I don't really get non-lethal damage either, Scott. I haven't found like it actually doing anything. Besides just making me feel a little bit better RP-wise. Have any of you guys in this chat figured out what non-lethal damage does besides make it look like the the opponent is alive, but then they disappear to never be seen again? I was hoping if we use non-lethal. Um, I've missed a couple a cu couple molds. Crazy noob. I was hoping that if we use non-lethal, like later on in the game, that character would show up or something, but I haven't really been able to test that out, so. 
All right, so um, there's no sense in doing the forge until we get some ore. So I'm going to come down here. Now, if I remember correctly, and if it's like early access, we're going to get some methods that pop up out of the lava here. And I'm actually not quite sure how you don't become surprised. I'm not sure how you can find these without them finding you first, but we're going we're gonna to test it out. Let's give it a go. I'm actually going to pop mirror image. Last for 10 turns. Oh, hide again. Last for 10 turns. Interesting. What happens if I stand up? Yep, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm here to test things out for you guys, okay? All right. The good thing is the rest of my party is right here, so we should be fine. Nice, Shadow. Might be a little bit far away. Oh, damn. Shadow surprise. She might end up dying. We better better get a shot off here. These guys are vulnerable to cold. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do a... Ray of Frost. Take one of those bastards out. Shadowheart's almost dead. Holy crap. And then we'll do an ice knife. That should be pretty good. Hold on. Do I have any... Oh my god, I have Sleet Storm. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Watch this. You guys ready for this? Although, hold on. Sleet Storm doesn't do damage. It just creates a difficult terrain and interrupts concentration. So I don't think that's going to do anything. Um, all right, let's stick with... We'll stick with Ice Knife. See if we can get a couple of them. I wonder if I hit the ground right here, if that would hit them. You know what? Honestly, it, I seriously think it might be worth just hitting Shadowheart. Here we go. Okay, maybe it wasn't. All right, hold on. We still have a star, Jan. Bruh, stop. Hold on. Come here, Shadow. I'm going to get you back up, baby. I'm going to get you back up. I don't know if I want to... Oh, God bless. Hey, bros. You love Ice Knife? Me too. It's a new spell that we didn't have in early access. All right, um... Yep, well, I guess we're starting off the session like that. Shadowheart's been murdered. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. Should also have Chromatic Orb. You non-lethal the goblin kids? But the question is, did it do anything? Hey, honey, what's up? Hey, I recognize the uh, the name from the YouTube comments. Thanks for stopping in. Lise. Lise. L Lisa. L Lise. Liljenberg. Haven't been watching as much as I wanted. Who's Wolfheart romancing in the... I mean, who am I not romancing? Come on. Right? Right, chat? You know what I'm saying? Like, the hag. Withers. You name it, it's been done. All right. I'm actually going to stay back a little bit. This isn't going as planned. You know what? In my defense, we did test out Shadowheart standing up to see what would happen. So I think she would still be alive if I didn't do that. Hope they end up adding Artificer. It'd be pretty cool. There's some Artificer characters in the game. The class is referenced quite a lot. That would be a really cool, like, three months down the line, they're going to announce another class. This is a different playthrough. Uh, depends on what playthrough you're watching, Zool, man. This is my live stream playthrough where I'm playing an evil character on Tactician. The, uh, the non-stream series is a different character, yes, if that's what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. This is how these guys want to play? Shit. Seriously? All right, you guys ready for this? Chromatic Orb is perfect for this situation. 90% with disadvantage. Let's do it. This is going to hit my character, too. You think I care? Wait, how come I can't? 
Whatever. Hey, gold. Thanks for stopping in. I'm worried about your choices of romance. True. All right, it's time to get serious. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm at disadvantage. Oh, because I'm disarmed? Oh, heat metal. Man, the sound effects of the spells in this game, so good. Well, this turned out a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Hey, Melbourne, what's up? Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for my next playthrough. It'll be a Circle of the Moon Druid. Man, the Druid class is so good in this game, and they're so it's so cool, too. Owlbear, Panther, Sabertooth Tiger. Like, it's so cool. I don't know what the shapes are after that, but I think there's even more than that. Keep getting disarmed. And it costs, it costs an action to pick it back up. Pretty powerful. See ya. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what should happen when you push a flying enemy. They shouldn't die. So that, that's fair enough. Give me my dagger back. Boy. What do we want to run with a Starion? Maybe we'll do Rapier for a little bit with a Starion. Kind of cool. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. You guys ready for this? This is what you call taking risks. See that? Does that really only hit one? Come on, man. Might as well just do Ray of Frost. Four damage. Are you kidding me? Can you say rape here on YouTube? Yeah, charm works for me. Enemies can also go for the kill unbalanced. It's less often. Hey, thanks, Chima channel. I appreciate it. The owlbear is insane. Bonus action leap that does damage and prone. I know, it really is insane. It's so beefy, too. It's got like 60-something HP at like level 8 or something like that, level 9. All right. Wish I had like a melee cold attack, which I don't. I do have Thunder Wave, though. It's all about the cold damage right now. Okay, you know what? I wonder if I can actually get all the way up here. No, okay. Everybody's disarmed right now. I am going to take the melee attack. My character's almost dead. And then we're gonna ice knife this guy without disadvantage. This guy's lower HP, it's probably better to target this guy. Take him off the battlefield, you know what I'm saying? And then, maybe we'll take a potion. I feel like I need to save the potions, though. We're about to come up to a really tough battle here soon. A little Spore Druid action right there. I think I forgot to cast Symbiotic Entity. Wall of Fire. I still haven't figured out how to use Wall of Fire. I, I have to practice with Wall of Fire and Wall of Cold. I always mess it up when I try casting it. Yeah, the reason why, um, oh god, the reason why Chromatic Orb only does damage to one is because these creatures are flying and it does a surface effect. If that makes sense. Wall of Fire plus Ice Storm. Wall of Fire does not break Ice Storm. Does not break ice from Ice Storm. Wow. That was powerful. All right, um, let's go ahead and back up out of this fire and let's do a another ice knife. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna be a okay. Could go res shadow heart too. I like how these little methods have heat metal. It's funny.
And that's a wrap, folks. Oh, wait, there's one left. What the hell's he doing down here? Let's see if we can get off a of ray of frost. Path is interrupted. Seriously? Damn, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off from up here. Nope. Guess we're going back down this way. That would be risky. Imagine jumping that IRL right near that little gap right there. Really liking the combo level six heroism spell that prevents poison disease. Just dropping cloud kill on my party and being fine. The deadly combination you got right there. Should I do another ice knife? Why not, right? Let's get this fight over with. I guess I can't. Gotta make sure to pick up my weapons. Okay, there we go. We did it. Go get Shadow Heart. Let's get our Mithril Ore. Wonder if the gods are Gotta pick up my weapons here. Nice. Sweet. All right, Dragonborn. I've actually been using. I've actually. Oh, never mind. I changed it. I keep forgetting. I have the Staff of the Arcane Blessing, which allows me to cast Bless with my Sorcerer. But I really, really, really enjoy the Falar Aluv Sword. Even though I don't use it as a weapon, I just use it for its abilities. But I can't find it in my no inventory. Too much of a mess. Don't run. Oh, God, don't run into the lava. Oh, my God. I thought I was running into the lava right there. Okay, we should be able to take this down with a mace. The Sharan Registry. A registry of proud followers recruited by her loyal paladin, Catherick Thorn. Okay. So Catherick Thorn was a Shar follower. Force resistance damage against this entity is doubled. What about bludgeoning? Should be fine using a mace. And there we have it, our first piece of mithril ore. Not sure how many total pieces there are in myth in Grimforge. And I don't think I'm gonna spend the time to search for them all, but if we can craft one piece of armor, that would be pretty cool. Or a mace. Damn, fly, ice storm, holy crap. Some really good scrolls. Alright, so because I used up some spell slots that fight, All right. let's go ahead and take out the other skeletons that are on the top side of the forge here before we come down here and end up doing the boss fight. Because I'd like to do a long rest before I do that fight. And then after the boss, if we are successful then we'll go figure out the monk side quest that you can activate in grimforge but you can't actually complete it until you get to act three and you make it to the city oh crap careful that was close oh there's another mold right here wait is this different was it always animated armor i feel like these were skeletons before am i crazy or Psychic resistance and poison resistance. Anti-magic susceptibility. Held together by the weave itself, this armor is incapacitated by anti-magic fields. Phil, what's up, man? Thanks for watching the Let's Play series, and thanks for stopping in during the live stream. Thanks for the $20 super chat. Wolf is the master of the BG3 universe. Keep on showing us how this is amazing. Thanks, Phil. Skull, brother. I'm 50 hours in and still debating between going through the high road or underdark. 
don't forget that you can do um you can do like a good amount of the underdark content and then go do the mountain pass you just don't want to press too far on in the underdark and i think that point of no return is going past grim forge but you can still do the majority of the underdark thanks phil that's the mold you're talking about okay we're gonna take a look at it right now um, it looks like there's only one enemy now i feel like this was like three skeletons before but what are you gonna do you know all right let's just surprise this jabroni and push on oh no no, no. don't go up there buddy i was gonna try to turn that off if, oh, there is two. Okay, okay, okay. I see what's up. I wonder if there's a third one hiding around here somewhere. That's real close. I think this is the heavy armor mold right here, which I don't really need in my group, although I do plan on having Minthara join my group at some point. I don't know what armor she's going to have on. I wonder if this will work. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. All right, there is there's four of them now. Oh, dude, where was this guy? What the hell? Okay. Okay. This guy's gold. Guess it's time to kick some ass. Let's go ahead and let me back up over here. I gotta do symbiotic entity. The shield and the armor you get makes you immune to critical hits. Is that one of the benefits? Because you can already. Oh, you know what? Larian did change up the heavy helmets. It used to be when you picked up some of those heavy helmets helmets in early access, you would get immunity to critical hits, but I think they changed that a little bit and they made that they made the helmets a plus one to constitution saving throws. Alright, let's do symbiotic entity. Like a true spore druid. Very nice. Let me see what spells I have prepared here. We have Sleet Storm, Call Lightning, Plant Growth. I think we're looking pretty good. Shadow Heart, we're going to do some Spirit Guardians. Absolutely. Need to press onward. Can't slow down. On my way. You know what's interesting? Is I have the Hill Giant Strength Potion, so you know what I might be able to do? That might actually be able to get up top here. Let's try this. We're going to try some stuff. Hey, Samantha. Been playing D and D for ten years. I'm old now. Let's see if this works. Oh my god! Look at that. The potions that you can use in this game. Sometimes they can amaze you. Oh really? You're not gonna let me do that? Seriously, game? Really? That's that's close enough. Come on, give me the jump. I'm surprised. I think Larian might have widened that gap a little bit. I wonder what happened if I took a shot from over here. We use distant spell. 88%. And then I could do... Poison resistance, psychic resistance. <laughs> that was actually really good both of those animated armors are pretty much dead right now and we're gonna take shadow heart we're gonna move her up take our spore druid we'll move him up leveling is really fast in this game I'm not finished at act two and i'm already level nine I think I finished Act 2 at level 7, or maybe I hit level 8 right when I finished Act 2. Okay, let's finish these guys off in one cast of Call Lightning right here. Not sure if that's going to put me in combat. Nope, I think we're good. 
Nice. And then Shadow Heart. She's not in combat yet, so we're gonna go do Spirit Guardians. Oh, that put her in combat. I didn't expect that. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We can go all out with our spell slots because I'm going to rest after this. I forgot about Astarion over here with his buddy. Nice. Do we bite him too? Imagine... Oh, no, you can't bite a construct. Of course, Astarion would try though, right? Gotta push this guy out a little bit. Get him out of this corner. Nope, I can't. How much does this guy weigh? 80 pounds. Okay, we'll pick this mode up. Oh, I'm not close enough. Hit level 10 around the Act 2 big fight. Wow, that's crazy. I was level 7 for that fight, and I know I was underleveled because everything I was fighting was like 8 and 9. I mean, you would think it would be pretty slow to level in Act 3. Levels like 9 to 12. This is why Spirit Guardians is so good. If you do like a Cleric build with Spirit Guardians and you play like a Wood Elf to get that five feet movement increase, and then you take Crusher's Ring to get another 10 feet, and you just run around the battlefield and never get close enough to enemies to where you're gonna proc an opportunity attack, you just get close enough for the Spirit Guardians to hit them. I mean, you could literally do like 100 damage just by running around the battlefield with Spirit Guardians in one turn probably. And that doesn't even count you using your spell slot. And if you play as a light cleric and you have like fireball, people are sleeping on the cleric class, I'm telling you. Might be the most powerful class. I lost concentration on call lightning. 50%. Just want to kill this guy. That's it. I think that sucks with the druid and the cleric. You don't really have like that many great combat cantrips. Ha ha ha. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Druid can get plus 10 movement. I've been using um, Longstrider quite a lot with my Ranger, I can tell you that much. That spell is badass, and yeah, as a ritual, you can just cast it on all your party members. And your animal companions, it's crazy. Let's end this. War Cleric with Moon Druid? Sounds pretty cool. See, look at that, you just walk right up, 18, 19 damage, then come back this way, hit another enemy, it's crazy. Not even using my action. Who needs an action? Oh shit, I always do that. I hit my spirit guardians by accident. You think I care? I'll fireball this bastard right now. Watch this. If Danton's in the way, then he's in the way. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Danton, if you don't want to move. This is definitely overkill. But does it look like I care? Nice. Fireball is such a fun spell. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do a little looting, and then we're going to go down into the Adamantine Forge and see what this boss construct is like. I don't really have, like, a person who can tank or hold aggro in my group right now, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. I wonder if you can craft all of the, uh, all of the molds in the full game. Scale Mal. It buffs Spirit Guardians. It doesn't work like that in 5B. It only does damage on the enemy's turn. Interesting. My feet. All right, let's take a long rest. Hey, okay, Shy. I think I found at least three chunks in early access. Maybe more, Shy. I think you could only craft one, though. Poor Lazel. Look at her right here. It's so sad. I wonder if I even have camp supplies. Oh, yes, I do. Three mithril ores. You're able to craft two things. Oh, in the full game, Shy? Raging Barb slash Monk. That sounds pretty awesome. You guys are looking for tips on inventory management. I mean, you're looking in the right place. This is called chaotic organization. Say something right now. I'll tell you. Tell me something right now, and I'll find it within three seconds. Somebody type something in chat. Find it within three seconds. Revivify scroll. Done. Right there. Done. Next, level two healing potion, easy. Just hit tab, you scroll down here, right there, done. Any any other any other items you guys want me to find? Didn't think so. Exactly. Get on my level. Alright, let's go kill some things. Still breathing. Despite everything. Let's get going. With haste. Ball, I don't have a ball. No ball in my inventory right now. You know how I know? Because I know every item in my inventory and I know exactly where it's placed. Everything is strategically placed in my inventory. Legendary gear? I mean, it'd be nice if you gave me a challenge. Legendary gear is a special color. I'll find that in half a second. This must be the forge. What a sight of Okay, what do we got here? I remember last time I was here in early access, it was bugged. Quest completed. We got past the rubble. All right. All right, fair enough. My faith will guide me. Something tells me this isn't going to go as planned. I think this might be a shield of faith type of thing here. So let's take... Let's take animate dead and equip shield of faith. Yeah, I'm not playing the dark urge. Still in act one, Nolan. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let me think. Um, what do we want to craft here is the question.
I'm thinking about doing the mace. We're doing the mace. We're doing the mace, and then I'll replace Shadow Heart's mace with a better one when we get to the mountain pass. I just want to know like what the what the stats of the mace is going to be. Can't remember. We gotta be careful here. I'm a little bit nervous. Could send all my food back to camp. I'm gonna put my sorcerer right here. I'm gonna put Shadow Hearts. No, 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 no. Come back, buddy. You stay right here, my friend. We're gonna take Danton, we're gonna put him over here. Six or seven mold options. Yeah, well, we're going with the mace. Now, Starion, you're gonna be our special lever guy, even though I think you can shoot the lever wheels and levers in this game now. All right, you all ready for this or what? Because it's seriously about to get absolutely crazy. mirror image really arriving in style i rather like it. thanks shy you can shoot levers yeah larian changed that from early access i remember the first time that i came here in early access like how terrifying this was why a first time run through a game is always the best. Oh shit, dude. What's this gonna be like on Tactician? Yeah, I'll probably have like 800 HP. Visuals remind you much of the early 2000s fantasy trend? Looks a little different. Okay. Oh man, mighty mighty, 450 HP. Let me just make sure. I always gotta check this. Okay, we are on Tactician. Bludgeoning damage against this entity is doubled. McDouble? Pretty much everything else doesn't work. Only bludgeoning. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Shadow Heart. We're gonna move her right here. We're going to try that again. And I'm gonna throw an alchemy potion, you know why? Because the main thing is just getting this guy to aggro onto my character. 50% chance of guiding bolts, not gonna cut it. So let's see if we can throw 
doesn't need to do damage. Just needs to pull aggro. I don't know if this is the right call. But I think this might be a smarter play. Okay. Because if we throw it at him, it's going to hit him no matter what. And it didn't, and it didn't do it. Okay, and it didn't. It didn't aggro him. <sighs> you fucking kidding me right now, dude? This is nuts. This is not going good right now. This is not going good at all. The only way I can kill this guy is, I don't have like a two-handed bludgeoning weapon wielding fighter. I have to use the forge to kill this guy. You gotta be kidding me right now. All right, I got a plan. Knew this wasn't gonna work out good. I knew something was wrong. Okay, yeah, we got a we got a major problem here. All right, Astarion, the thing's coming after you, so I'm gonna need you to come over here. I'm gonna need you to disengage or dash. Okay, great. That was stupid because that used my bonus action, so that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Man, this is just not going as planned right now. Shit. We're going to leave the Dragonborn hidden, actually. Hold on. Let me bring him over here. Talk to me. Okay. All right. Ninja Gaiden. Oh, nice. Why are you still going after Shadow? Maybe, maybe I did get threat threat assessment. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that's real good. Okay, now hold on. Let me think. How many times can I pull the lever in one turn? This is going to be two separate rounds of combat. Toodaloo, Mr. Grimforge. How's it feel, jackass? Oh shit, the Muffet. I didn't even notice that they are in the fight. That's not good. Two poles didn't do anything for you? As a pally, I keep my boomsticks? Things not going to plan makes more fun. True. Using the hammer again is pointless. Okay, the Mephits are putting a little bit of um, a little bit of a tear in our plan here. You know what I'm saying? My plan was going perfectly, and the Mephits came. They're all over Shadowheart too. That's not good at all. Okay, just had to just had to test it out. Just had to test it out. I believe you guys in chat, but sometimes I gotta test things out too. Okay. All right, Astarion, I need you on method duty. Do we have any more potions of speed? I should save the potions of speed for my sorcerer, though, because we have cold cold spells that will kill these methods much quicker. So we're just going to go ahead and do a sneak attack. We're going to sneak attack this guy right here. That's great. Okay. All right. Good to know. Might have to pull out spirit guardians right now. Seriously. I can't afford it. Spirit Guardians will get me killed. Um, hmm. There's really nothing I can do right now. Besides heal myself. I could do Inflict Wounds. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drink a good old potion. Okay, then I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds. Level 3. Aha. See ya. 
Okay. And then we're gonna... Damn. I forgot that they explode. That's messing up my mirror image. Okay. And we're gonna do inflict wounds level one. Okay. Big guy's getting back up. No problem. Why don't you go right back down, buddy? Ah, oh, shit. He doesn't, he's not... Shit. It's been a while since I've done this. That was pointless. He didn't take any damage because he's not... Man. Okay. Still not worried about it. A little bit. Forgot, he has to be... He has to be, like, heat prone. Before he can take damage. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We gotta let him walk around a little bit or something. I might actually have to shoot him. With a Starion. See ya. Chef's kiss. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink another potion. We're gonna drink a little potion. And uh, I'm going to recast Mirror Image. And then we're gonna do a little Guiding Bolt, level one, on this jabroni over here, on the south of the battlefield. Okay, all right. I gotta get this guy to walk in the lava. Let's see what he does here. How's he not heating up again? Did they change this fight or something? Okay, here he goes. What is this guy doing? He's not heating up again. Maybe he's just not far enough in the... We got thrust threat assessment. Let me come over this way. Go as far back as we possibly can. Is all that matters. Danton, I think you're doing fine. Pick up your weapon. Stop crying. Maybe spread out just a little bit here. Pop a little potion. Let's see what this guy. Oh, there he goes. He heated. You see? Oh shit. <laughs> He, he was heating up again. I guess he wasn't in the lava enough or something like that. I don't know. That's not good for a Starion. I'm just going to simply... Uh... No, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's move my Sork over here. Come on, really? 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 We're going to pull Threat Assessment from Astarion. Doesn't really matter what we use.
shit. Dude, I gotta stop missing. I might have to cast Bless. You know what? I'm going to with my staff next time. Could do Fairy Fire too. 65% chance? That's actually a really good idea. Let's do it. Mitch, what's up, man? Listen up, Wolfstrom. I'm with my kids trying to convince them to play multiplayer with me, so you need to do well. And cut down on the cursing. Alright, you got it, Mitch. Shout out to your kids. What are the... What's the names, Mitch? Give us the names so the wolf pack can say hello. I'm gonna start saying crikey. How do you critical miss such a huge target? He's a dexterous guy. Alright, I wish I had the dodge action right now. That would be fantastic. Okay, here we go. Come on, Shadow. See, what I was thinking is, maybe I did get threat, threat assessment when I threw that, that alchemist fire before. I have three, with Scorching Ray, I have three chances to get threat assessment, so we're going to do that. Even though he's immune to fire damage? Okay, never mind, I shouldn't do that. Not entirely sure. If only I had a scroll of magic missile. That would make life a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if Ice Storm would do anything. Alright, let's just take a shot. 45% chance. Alright. Fair enough. I respect it. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Things are going to change now. Move Danton a little... Oh, I can't move Danton a little bit closer. Mitch, thanks for the 20. Emily and Leah, and curse all you want. All right, to the tavern. Let's do a nice grape juice cheer. Okay. For Emily and Leah. Beautiful names. Great choice, Mitch. Did you choose those names? Let's go. All right, this fight goes out to Emily and Leah. I really do love both of those names, Mitch. Are right, you guys ready for this? Watch and learn. Seriously? Seriously? Aha. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not, that was stupid. <laughs> I literally drank that potion for no reason. There was, no, there's no reason for me to drink that potion. Not even one reason. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that was close. At least I get two attacks. Okay, we're missing everything apparently. Hey, Don, what's up? Can't wait till I can watch again without worrying about spoilers. I miss y'all. Go wolf. Thanks for stopping in, Don. Enjoy your run. I'm in a bit of a pickle right here. My brain's not working anymore. I don't know what to do. This didn't go as planned. This just didn't go as planned. All right, we got threat assessment. Here we go. 
Why is Astarion down? I was using him as bait replicator. All right, you guys ready for this? Now it's time to get serious. Why is Danton in the lava right now? I didn't do that, did I? The whole party's about the wipe right now. This is ridiculous. I forgot I have <laughs> I had magic missile this entire time. <laughs> I had magic missile this entire time and I haven't even used it once. That's how confused I am with what characters I'm running on what playthrough. Literally have magic missile this entire time. You can't miss with magic missile. Okay, I like it. All right, Danton, you get your ass back over here and you stop crying over there like a little baby. A little baby spore druid. All right, we're going to toss uh we're going to toss Shadowheart a little heal right now. Actually, no, I'm not cuz I don't have my bonus action. All right, we're not going to do anything. Come on, little guy, get your ass up. Perfect. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. All right. Let's think here. Let's think. At 300 HP. I'm almost dead. We're going to drink a potion. And we're going to throw a potion. How about that? Because I got haste active right now. down to 170 HP. The battle of survival now. At the ready. Too far with the Starion, okay, no problem. Go ahead and drink another potion. Very nice. I'm just going to hold our ground right here. I think we're doing pretty good. Problem is when he stands up, we're going to have to get him to move a little bit, I think. So in that case, we probably want... Hmm. I think I'm going to leave Shadowheart right there. And we're going to take Danton. gotta have Danton ready though that's the thing you know what I'm saying Danton has to be ready at all times so Starion's gonna have to wait now Moonbeam would not miss you know what I mean radiant resistance is that nullified nullified okay 25% chance with the bow Shadow. I need you. I need Shadow to hold their ground. I really, really do. It's very, very important. But she holds her ground and doesn't do anything. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. That's real good. Okay, Danton, I need you to come back over here, my friend. Assume your position.
Shadow Hearts, honestly. Stop right there. Stop right there. I love using the Starry on this bait. <laughs> ah, let's go. It actually turned out to be a lot harder than I expected. I'm not going to lie. A lot of things just didn't go right. All right, and then we're going to bring Shadow... Hold on, he's not on the 41% damage. I could actually maybe swing at him with my mace with Shadow Heart. 2 to 7, 4 to 14. That would take a little while. Let's, um. Hmm. Alright, let's pull aggro. Wish I had a little bit this way, but that might work. I'll catch up on the chat here shortly, y'all. Let me just finish this battle. I don't want to multitask too much at the moment. I'm going to see if I can get through this first. Okay, Astarion. You're fine, Astarion. God, Astarion and Danton are such crybabies. Ridiculous. Do you guys agree? Alright, I gotta think about Astarion's movement here. If he comes after Astarion, I need him to I need his movement to work out good to where when he goes back he ends up on this middle part. So let's move to right here. That's probably perfect. And you know what? Honestly, I'm not gonna do anything. I want him to go to Astarion. Okay, Astarion has died seven times this fight so far. Perfect. Alright. Darion does better as the Gloomstalker th or Thief multi-class, not as fodder. Oh no, he's doing a pretty good job right now. Dude, look at my character's HP right now. This is insane. It's over though, I already won. See ya. Damn, that was intense. That was fun though, I'm not gonna lie. Is the lava gonna go away? Starion, we'll just leave him over there. He's fine. I think I'm going to swap out a Starion now, so we'll just leave his dead body in Grimforge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Astarion's one of my main companions on this run. I'll get a Starion up before I get my loot. How about that? Hey, Mike. You. Haven't done this fight. Yeah, if you know how it works, it's definitely a lot easier on on the attempts after your first one because your first attempt you like have no idea what's going on i remember my first time like i didn't even like think about using the hammer until like 30 minutes into the fight i was just trying to swing at him doing like no damage welcome rest off we go then he's too hot for grim morge all right let's um let's loot everything and we'll grab our new mace You know, it wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. That's all that matters. The Grim Skull Helm. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wear. Grants resistance to fire damage. This is a really good helm. And it gives you Hunter's Mark. 
I can't use it with any of my current companions, but this is really good. Like, really good. I mean, if you're playing a fighter or a paladin and you're not playing as a vengeance paladin because you already get hunter's mark or a heavy or a strength based ranger well you don't even need that with a strength based ranger but you get hunter's mark as part of your spell that's insane that's an extra one that's crazy hunter's mark is the reason why people play a ranger in the first place and you're giving it away on a, on a helm Bazel has that helm for you that's awesome that's freaking powerful, man. Let's see what it looks like, too. Dude, oh my god, it looks so sick. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I need my state trooper hat back, though. There we go. State trooper Leon, at your service. Alright, let's see what we got for the mace. The Adamantine Mace, 3 to 8 damage, Diamond's Bane. If Adamantine Weapon hits an object, the hit is always critical. This weapon ignores bludgeoning. If an Adamantine Weapon hits an object, the hit is always critical. Does object and creature, are they different words? They must be. It's like a really good utility mace for breaking down things or something like that. I don't know, man. We're going to test it out in combat. Looks pretty cool. Looks awesome, actually. I love Shadowheart with her witch hat. You've used this on walls and stuff? That's what I was thinking. At first, I was like, holy crap. Wait, I get a critical hit every time I hit an enemy, but it must not be that. I mean, the mace is, is pretty good. It ignores resistances. So that's actually a pretty powerful feature that it has. I mean, that can be used in combat, too. And it also does one more damage than my other mace, too, on average. Okay. Let's, um, we only have one more thing. I mean, there's a few things we could do in Grimforge, but... I think the only other thing that I want to do... Is maybe pick up the Monk Amulet quest. And then I think I'm pretty much good here. I don't need to explore every nook and cranny. I'm itching to get to the new content. On I go. Really helpful against the steel watch robots. Ooh. Didn't think about that. Adamantine armor is way stronger. Oh, uh, you know, I don't really have anybody. Wait, there might be adamantine medium armor. Is there medium armor? I probably could have made use of that. Hmm. Can always come back and do it again. Just have to get another piece of mithril ore. Let's move. I don't think there's anything over here, but I want to check. There is medium scale, that's what I thought. Moving ahead. I wonder which one I have. That's splint. Scale, mal, mold. I wonder if that's it right there. Hold on, let me look up D&D &D real fast. Scale, mal, D&D, &D, 5e. Yeah, okay. Scale, mal is medium armor. Okay. Maybe we'll do that one. Put that on Shadowheart. The lava's erupting. Thing has 123 HP. That's like 40 or 50 more than I'm balanced. Okay. The question is, do I have to rest before I do this? No spell slots on pretty much anybody but my sorcerer. But that might actually be okay. These things have stayed interesting. Let's scope it out. You don't even have to fight this thing, I don't think. Oh, 
when do I get the dire raven form or is that only moon druid I'm not entirely sure Shit, I didn't pick up my staff. It must be on the ground back there somewhere. Oh, there it is. No one back home will ever believe this. Damn, dude, that thing's getting close. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get back. Oh, my God. I might be screwed right here. Oh, this might be real bad. This might be real bad. Damn, that's a melee spell too. I can't even get back. Shit. Guy doesn't attack unless you do. Is that is that really hot? I don't know if I trust you. I kind of trust you, but I don't at the same time because I never know when people are trolling me. Regain 20 to 120 hit points when starting in lava. The presence of this creature disturbs nearby lava, making it bubble and explode. Hold damage against this entity is doubled. I feel like I need... I feel like I need spell slots with my druid. I only have one level 3 spell slot. Glad to see that Dan Tom is still alive. Yeah, maybe I do have some ice arrows. That's a good idea. Not a big fan of Druid, but the utility is amazing. True. I think Spore is better as a midline support caster than trying to make a melee use the necrotic damage. You don't want to lose Symbatic Entity. Yeah, you got to be somewhat close to use the uh, use the Halo of Spores. The range is not that far, so you got to be like somewhat on the front lines. Maybe you could move back to mid a little bit, but I haven't really quite figured it out yet. We haven't really had it much past level four, so. All right, the sentient amulets. Let's go ahead and pick that up with my sorcerer. The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly the metal Abander. surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Can thou endure? Close your eyes and let your magic flow through you. 
all its wild and beautiful glory. Yeah, BG3 is killing it with the reviews right now. I love to see it. Born Creole, thanks for the dollar ninety nine. Have a good night. Love the content. You have a good night as well, and thanks for your first super chat. Cheers. Metanaut says, I'm at the same spot in my first playthrough. I've been taking a long, slow walk through this first part. I'm glad your evil playthrough is at the same spot as mine. So much to do in Grimforge, it's crazy. Your pure, raw power rips through the urge to love. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the Look at my dragon boy. Return me. Take me home, and thou shalt grow with blessings. Return you where? To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwin. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh! <laughs> Are you a ghost? What happened to you? A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, dew on grass. Sharon's broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Okay. Thou shalt return me home. It is written. That thing's tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. Interesting. So I never picked this up on my other character, so I feel like I want to do this quest. But let's go ahead and try an insight check here. Focus on this entity. What are its intentions? Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. What's up, ice cream? Okay, let's also examine the amulet. Might be testing my luck here. Pasta, oh my god, are you serious? That's pretty funny that I just said that. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. That's an image of Lathander, the Morning Lord. Now we can do a religion check. Consider the inscribed image. What could it mean? Three for three. Damn. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander. God of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. Oh, perfect. Okay. I will take you to your granddaughters at Worms Crossing. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> It's not really like my Dragonborn to help others, really. But this guy is also offering some extra power, so of course we're going to take it. Go ahead and equip the amulet. It shall be. <laughs> no frontliners in my group at the moment. There will be when I pick up Minthara later on. <laughs> and you guys can see we have Talk to the Sentient Amulet. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Like an evil clown. Okay. You guys think I should try killing the uh, lava elemental now? With minimal spell slots? I think we got him. I think we go for it. Problem is. As it says, 
The creature regains hit points when starting turn in lava. So, we need Shadowheart to be my frontliner. Going to turn based mode. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. You gotta get this guy out of the lava. Probably right there. That's probably pretty good. Let me hit F5 because this might not go as planned. And here we go. I kind of feel bad if it doesn't attack. Why do I feel bad? I'm doing an evil run. Hell, man. Okay. All right. Here we go. Critical hit. Back up a little bit. My sorcerer is still not in combat. Is Danton in combat? He is. Okay. Shadowheart will have you take a shot, too. Got to block off the entire front part right here. Don't want to waste any spell slots right now. Here we go again. How much H? He regained all of his HP, all of it. <laughs> hey, Jessica. Game looks gorgeous. It is, man. There's some really, really nice looking spot. Actually, the entire game looks nice, but. We're going to the mountain pass. Maybe after I finish this part right here. And that area of the map is some of the best looking in CRPG history, that's for sure. Probably RPG history too, although the Witcher's got some beautiful scenes. Come on, buddy. Wake the hell up. Come on. Okay, here we go. Melt the earth. Okay, now we're going all out. You guys ready for this? I do have an arrow of ice. Nice. Not that much damage, but okay. All right, Danton, we need a... My only spell slot. And then let's pull in Leon now. And we're going to do a good old... Chromatic orb cold with advantage. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're going to get this guy in, in one round, maybe. Unless he runs back into the lava. I'm not sure. If he does, then we might have a problem. I have no more arrows of cold. Oh, you know what we never did in the Underdark? I never crafted that spear. Oh, yeah, it's because we never got the third part of it. I never, never went back to the Mykonids. Maybe we'll go, go kill some Mykonids. And here it goes. Thank God for mirror image. Wait, why does it have 100 HP again? Shit. Lava pools in this creature's footsteps. You gotta be kidding me. Like, you gotta be... Is this a joke right now, Larian? Is this funny to you? What if I throw... What if I throw water at the lava? Would that do anything? I thought I had this guy dead in, like, one round. Now I'm about to die. I don't have any more spell slots. Shit. Yeah. All right, we gotta back up a little bit. I remember the trolls and DOS too. Yeah, those are some scary mofos. All right. Damn. I really shouldn't. I didn't realize he could. He just keeps creating his own lava. What? Are you serious? Houston, 
We've got a problem. You try to create water. I don't have any spell slots. I should have rested before I did this. I thought I was going to have this guy down. Like, yeah, I got to get rid of that lava. That's crazy. Let's see what scrolls I got. Might, might be in for a bit of a punishment here. You know what I mean? I don't have any ice knife spell slots left anymore, Baraz, unfortunately. I have no spell slots except with my Sork. Hold on, we can do this. We don't have our TPK. Let's go. We can figure this out. I need arcane recovery. I wish I was a wizard. All right, shadow. Oh, it looks like I can't see. Look, look, there is an ice surface underneath him, but he's also still standing in the lava. That's just ridiculous. That's insane, dude. He just keeps creating lava everywhere. Are you serious? That's nutty, man. I don't think I can do this. Yeah, I don't think I can get this encounter right now without any. There's, I have no way to get rid of the lava at his feet. will be fine don't worry about him he'll be he'll be fine over here you need spells yeah i do need spells don't worry about it starion's fine he knows what he's doing he'll be perfectly fine all right watch this we're gonna come up here running action disengage i'm down a little bit right under the lava starion can take it i'm not worried about it Then we're going to grab Shadow. We're not at the end of our range yet, so let's let's ba let's go down a little bit more. Please don't die in the lava. Please don't die in the lava. Oh, I'm out of movement. Okay. I refuse the TPK. I refuse. Aha! Necro cantrip to make it so he can't heal? I don't know, that's an interesting idea. I'm not sure if that works. You think that would apply with lava? Maybe it would. It's a good idea. I could try it once before I peace out with this character. Even if I do get it to work, I don't think it's going to happen right now with the condition of my party, so. This guy's a freaking beast, man. I respect him, though. Definitely respect him. You gotta be kidding me. Shit. Oh, excuse, I mean, Mitch's children are on. Shite. All right, Astarion, I need you to stay back. I need you to tank this guy. 
Yeah, starting on spine. Told you. He'll be just fine. Astarion's first rodeo. Ah, I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Be assured, it is not by choice. Does this guy not resurrect companions anymore? I literally haven't needed to use him for that at all. He's doing hirelings and also respecking. There are many answers to that, Chris. Correct. No. Fate, dost thou require a new app? There we go. Thou must re this is the price of that. Well, for a minute I thought they changed it. And dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. By doom and dusk, I strike my name from the archives. Bone chill and the Ilmater arrow is pretty good for that. Has anybody tried Bone Chill on, on the Lava Elemental? We have to look at his resistances again to see. Like Maybe he's like fully resistant to Necrotic and it won't take effect or something like that. Hey, Bobber, what's up? RIP to that Elemental fight? True. Yeah, RIP to me. I know. Is that blood? No, never mind. Larian's signature enemies. All elementals heal from their own elements. Yeah, Shadowheart does have chromatic orb. Oh no, I mean Glyph of Warding, excuse me. Glyph of Warding also has cold though too, so. I could take this guy down pretty fast. It's just, I don't know how to get rid of that. I think we should go back and do it again. I think we should go right back and kill him. What do you guys think about that? And actually, I wonder if I could pull him. Oh shit, what is everybody doing? <laughs> no, no, that's so close. Mitch, thanks for the $20 super chat. They're dying laughing every time you curse. They're out here, they're out of here now though. It's all good. So glad I played enough to be able to watch all your streams even into act three. Can't wait for you to get to the newer stuff. Hey Zyphia, what's up? Thanks Mitch, that's funny. He embarrassed you, now you embarrass him. True. Alright, let's take a look at his resistances again. Poison, it says nothing about necrotic, so maybe bone chill actually is the answer to this. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. Okay, let's think about this though. Quite well, I think. Where do we want to fight him? I'm thinking we probably want to pull him up this way and not on that little rock right there. So let's let some time go by. Let me get my team back up here. Have a lot on my mind, isn't You guys got wax in your ears? What's going on? I'm not muted. You guys are crazy. So 
So anyways, what happened right there was I thought I selected a different party member, but I didn't. I was still selected on Shadowheart, and I clicked on the ground, and Shadowheart decided to take a stroll through the lava. Why she would do that, I'm not sure. But she did, so. All right. Don't linger. I wonder if there's an easier way to get around here. I don't remember it being this hard to navigate this area with a low strength character. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. <laughs> I thought I told you guys I know where everything is in my inventory. Am I out of resurrection scrolls? Holy crap, I don't even have resurrection scrolls in my inventory right now. These things have stayed interesting. Tom, thanks for the 499. I appreciate it, man. Where are the water jars when you need them? I don't even have any resurrection scrolls. I wonder if you can still pickpocket Wither for Resurrection Scrolls. My cleric is dead. My cleric is dead right now. So I can't use a revivify. Let's keep going. All right, I guess we got to start collecting like resurrection scrolls and start getting serious here because the game is starting to come at us now. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Then thou must return. This is the price of bad. Well, I'm gonna pickpocket this bastard here in a second. Hold on, he's pissing me off. I strike thy name from the archives. Very stupid skeleton. Yeah, give me my gold back, biatch. I'll resurrect all day. You think I care? I got all the time in the world, my friend. All the time in the world. You know what? We're going to end the day and do a partial rest because I want to make sure I teleport back to uh, that exact spot. Hopefully I don't end up inside the lava again. Start getting serious after 10 plus deaths. You could steal the gold. Yep, that's just what I did. Yeah, they must have nerfed the red scrolls on. We used to have like three of them on him. Come on, companion. Sometimes it bugs out. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like this positioning much better. All right, you guys ready to kill this damn thing? Let me hit F5. And let's see what we got here. I might do distant spell to pull him. And we'll have him come right up here. That'll be perfect. Bone chill has a 60 foot radius. That's great. Okay, now we wait.
now we wait. We're hunting a lava elemental, y'all. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I definitely like this a lot more than being over there, because I have a lot more room to move around. I wonder if he's even gonna come over here, though. Perfect. This is kind of cool. I feel like I'm in like a monster hunting party or something. We've been sent to the Underdark to take out a lava elemental. Hey, mister, what's up? Let me see what. Uh, Gal, I didn't save from the rock and I haven't seen him since. Let me just make sure we have the best spells prepared right now. So for Shadowheart, let's see. We might want to. We might want to prepare Revivify since I don't have any scrolls. Spiritual weapons probably not going to help. We have aid. I should be casting aid. I got to get into the habit of doing it. Um, let's see. Guiding bolt, healing word, inflict wounds, shield of faith. We can drop that. We'll take create water because we're going to test it out. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Glyph of warding is going to help because that's going to be cold damage. Let's go ahead and cast Aid right now. We'll do Aid level... Let's see. Glyph of Warding is level 3, so we'll do Aid level 2. Sorcerer, we don't prepare spells. Danton, let's see what you got, my man. We got Ice Knife. Call Lightning. Sleet Storm's not really going to help, but I'm wondering if Sleet Storm would actually get rid of the lava on the ground. So... Let's prepare it. We'll try it out. And yeah, should start using Long Strider. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. We'll take Create Water with him as well. I don't think Heat Metal is going to work, do you? And here we go. Attempt number two. Technically, I didn't TPK. We only have one TPK so far intact. Wait, two? Do we have one or two? We might have two, because I think I wiped to the knolls at one time when I wasn't paying attention. And I actually walked by them. And we'll back up a little bit. This guy's dashing. Oh damn, he is pissed off right now, dude. He is pissed off. Never a dull moment. We're going to start off with Bone Chill to see what it does. He is Bone Chilled. Cannot regain hit points. I think it actually is going to work. That was a genius play out of one of you guys that brought that up. It's like very few enemies do you find like the need to use Bone Chill on in this game. But if there was one, this is the enemy. <laughs> All right, so let's do... It's only going to last one turn, though, so we got to be careful. 90% path interrupt. Let's just do another cantrip. Damn, I don't like being this close. Ah, I don't want to do quicken spell. Not yet, not yet. Let's see what he does here. Okay. I'll do bone chill again. Shit. 22 damage, too. Oh, it's going to be too easy with bone chill. Spoke too soon. I wish I kept them too hidden because I could have done a surprise attack right now. Um, this guy's a joke now, isn't he? 
All right, so he doesn't have bone chill active anymore. So we probably want to make sure I'd, I mean, I could just kill him right now. Be done with it. He's done. One, one ice knife and he's done. Okay. All right. Well. That was a lot easier. I'll feel that one later. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go to uh, the mountain pass? I don't know if I want to do any more Grimforge content. I mean, there's a whole upper area that I didn't explore yet. I just don't know if I'm in the mood to do it right now. I think I want to go to the mountain pass. We can make a potion of healing. We can make a bunch of elixirs here. Arcane cultivation. Craft one of those. Elixir of the Colossus. Craft one of those. Tadpole elixir. Gain sanic weakening and sanic enrichment. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Okay. Elixir of the Colossus. Drink to increase your size. Weapons deal an additional one to four. Gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Wonder how long that lasts. Whoa. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, that's a true dragonborn right there. Hey, Michael, what's up? How long am I streaming? Uh, I don't know. Maybe another... Another hour, maybe. We'll see. Looking ahead. That's pretty badass. An arcane cultivation. Gain an additional level 2 spell slot. That could actually be super useful. Do we want to make more, though? That's the question. Peerless focus. We'll make another. We'll make another Colossus one too. Why not? And then we got coatings too. Drow poison. Go latest. Let's make. Let's make a starry on a big boy too. How about that? <laughs> Anything that sucks is I'm low on HP right now. Oh shit, I clicked. I didn't. Wasted that. That's okay. Midori. Big lizard time. What path lies nice. Me? I was hoping to make a start. I'm, never mind, I'm not going to say it. Some of you guys are going to be taking that the wrong way. Just going to give a star on a Viagra. Let's go check out. Let's go back to the front part of Grim Forge. I do want to check out this one room. Dying to play the game on PS5, but not enough to also buy it on Steam.
to rest. Oh, the spider's not even... For a minute, I thought the spider might be resistant to poison. see in this room right now I gotta start using f1 through f4 because double clicking on portraits is just such a pain in the butt Nice, Aloy. Congrats. That was pretty cool. I like trying things in a different way that we don't typically do it, like using Gust of Wind. Like, that's super cool. Isn't that awesome? Just made, like, a little path down the middle. I need to lockpick it? Say what? what path you said something about lockpick? That structure we saw from a distance in the Grimforge, something about it struck me as noteworthy. Perhaps we'll find an easier way to reach it if we keep pressing forward. Care to elaborate? Not just yet. I wouldn't want to get my hopes up. If we can get any closer, and if there's anything more to that place, well, I think I'll have plenty to say then. You and I, we share something special. I, I think I want to talk about it. Very serious of you, but go ahead. I forgot, me and Shadowheart made out that one night. Admit it, you've never had a relationship quite like this one, ha have you? Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. Okay, alright. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Heat wave in your PC? Ooh, yeah. That sucks. Okay. We're done. Yeah, so I'm actually not sure like where you go in the Underdark to push on to this content. I don't know where the next step is. Um, not that we're doing that anyways. Oh, hold on. Oh. Because I didn't even come to the Underdark on my other run. I went straight to the Mountain Pass. I peaked the Underdark, but then I went right to the Mountain Pass because I just wanted to get into the new content so bad. Let's go up this elevator. It's kind of curious. Never been up this elevator before. Um, there's better Dark Justicia armor later on in the game, so I don't feel like how small everybody looks. Uh, the Dark Justicia armor that I have in my inventory is only 13 armor class, and I care more about having a higher armor class with her, because she's kind of like my frontliner. Believe it or not, right now. Uh, you can do most of the Underdark content and also do that Mountain Pass, so I'd recommend that. I would recommend doing as much in the Underdark as you can before you get to possibly this point right here. Yeah, okay, so you can do basically the entirety of the Underdark and Grimforge. But once you see a screen right here that says you're about to progress your adventure, then maybe go to the Mountain Pass after. 
I think that's probably how you get the most content out of early access. Um, I did create a save point. Let's go ahead and go up and see where this brings us. Where'd I get that sexy hat? I honestly, I don't remember. Oh yeah, we're going into... Yeah, so this is... Okay. Oh shit. There's a devil at our camp. This is content that I haven't done before well, yet. I am Raphael. Very much at your service. You weren't invited here. Explain yourself. Why, I never. Your parents must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. <laughs> my dragonborn's underwear. Uh, Astarion's in his underwear too. Somewhere. Reach for your weapon. Tut, tut. No need for that crude cutlery of yours. As you can see, I'm amply provisioned. This is the house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Looks delicious, Go doesn't it? Come on, partake. Enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. You know, if I was, if I was a millionaire or a billionaire, I would create the house of hope and I would invite you all out for dinner. Okay. It would look exactly like this room. I'm getting tired of your games. Fair enough. What's better? than a devil you don't know <laughs> a devil you do am i a friend potentially an adversary conceivably but a savior <laughs> that's for certain I don't care what you are, I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all. Like that. See, the thing is, my character likes his tadpole in his head, so I can't break the RP here. You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you try to cure yourself shop around beg borrow and steal exhaust every possibility until none are look at left. his horns and when looks so cool has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair that's when you'll come knocking on my door hope <laughs> Such a tease. There's so many different like types of runs that we got to try in this game because like my other character didn't want to make a deal with the devil and I'm doing a good run and this character who is evil also doesn't want to do a deal with the devil. Nobody wants to do a deal with the devil so we're gonna have to do another run where we get like we trust Raphael with everything. I'll rip out your mocking tongue, devil. Ah, yes, the tongue. Yet another piece of pleasurable anatomy you'll soon have to do without. All those pretty little symptoms, 
Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. You want to beat this devil to a pulp? Cool character, right? Great voice acting. Nice model, too. Okay. Well, we might be going back. Might be loading the previous load point. Because I think I want to do the mountain pass. I'm not sure if this is going to block me off, but we're going to find out. I want Minthara in my group. And if I screw that up, I will reload. Because that's the whole point of this run, is to have her as the tank. Get to know her character. And look at the beautiful concept art in this game. I feel like concept artists are some of the coolest people out there. Imagine that being your job. Like, that's badass. I would invite all of you for your last dinner. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to make some choices, but... Okay. I've never been here before. Maybe. If this is the Gauntlet of Shar, I have been here. But I came from a different angle. Let's see where we can fast travel. Oh, look, we can still... Fast travel. And Hold on, okay. Should have got some revive scrolls. Mountain Pass is available until you do the night song. Yeah, they do have fantastic imaginations. Well, let me click on that plaque. I like to see the lore. We offer ourselves to the darkness that blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Okay, so our quest has updated. We've reached the Shadow Cursed Lands. The Dream Visitor told us to go to Moonrise Towers and infiltrate the Cult of the Absolute. The Cult's secrets may teach us how to free ourselves. We reached the Shadow Cursed Lands. We can use we can use Minthara's instrument to summon a creature to guide us to Moonrise. But we need to find the right place to play it. Okay. Let's move. a step what can I do for you I don't think I have Minthara's instrument on me right now. I don't know what I did with it. That might be a problem. All's well that ends. What did I do with that loot? I don't think it's that one that I just searched. Definitely not that one. Spider loot? Yeah, I don't have it on me. Oh. It's a liar. Okay. So I think we're good. Not a loot. Okay, the good The thing is I don't know where to play it, but let's uh let's push on a little bit. Wall of stone? Holy crap.
I have been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to Grimforge for future expeditions. Crusol Nier will follow once the entrance is cleared. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What might we find here that Ketheric created so long ago, now sealed by the curse? Grimforge could hold untold treasures for the Absolute's uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble, quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not as experienced in such matters as I'd wish to be. I set up the explosives with care, though I admit I'm almost afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold. What might lie beyond, or whether I've seen, set things up correctly. Wall of Stone, man. That's going to be a freaking great CC spell. Listen to the background ambience. Isn't that crazy? Yep, this is not the entrance to the Shadow Curse lands that I took. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. Better stay on alert. Your in-game music is always I've off, Mark. Seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. It's the best part. Starting your tactician we run? Nice, man. Good luck. Act 1 hasn't been too bad so far. I wonder if this is the same Shadow Curse lands that came out from the Mountain Pass. Did I find a waypoint yet? That's all I want to find because I want to see if we can go back. Let's go ahead. How many torches do I have? I think I have plenty. The problem is, if you get into combat with the torch, it costs an action to switch to your weapon. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. But oh, well, what about me? You're resourceful. You'll find a way. <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. I know where that temple is because I've been there on my other character. For a minute, I thought we might be ending. I thought we might be going right into the Gauntlet of Shar from there, but all these telltale signs of Dark Justicius that we've been seeing, I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. It could be nothing. All the same, lands like these must have seen all sorts throughout the years. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert in case. I love the Shadow Curse lands. Made good progress through the mountains. Seeing the curse for the first time filled me with an awe and fear that was difficult to describe. No writing could have prepared me, nor any artist's rendition. As grave as the Archdruid Helson's warnings were, they were still lacking compared to the reality. 
I shall make camp soon and press on in the morning, though in truth, such terms have little meaning in this place. A dreadful night, the campfire needed thrice the wood that would normally be needed in order to keep it burning. Terrible sounds came to my ears from beyond the firelight. Rest has not restored me. If anything, I feel weaker. But I must preserve. I must trust in Sylvanas. I must venture deeper. Creatures from the darkness, foul things, once grazed me. Only my torch saved me. Deep darkness, flames are instantly doused. The wounds sting. Flesh is turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. I need to return to light. The wood will not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. Anything to do with the shadow curse? I truly hope this blight isn't spreading. All right. Luna plays a big part in her story. Okay, I'm kind of like... We're kind of in exploration mode now, because this is... I mean, even though I've done some of this content on my other character, this is still kind of new. Light on my feet. So I'm going to have to focus in a little bit more on what I'm doing here. So this is a hole right here? Hold on. Oh, no, it's a bonfire. Okay. Let's head a little deeper. I know that place. Aha! I know exactly where we are now. I know exactly where we are. So, when you go through the mountain pass, I think you come out somewhere over here. Never a dull moment. The animal never had a chance. The curse consumes everything it touches. I like how there's like not that much music in this area and it's more so just this low like this drone place. sound there's a power in these shadows i can sense it it's ancient familiar you said before that you want to become a dark just this year what does that mean to you everything potentially there is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicier is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed yeah, it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. How good, like, the voice acting is and not the my mother, animation. Not my mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. Shadowheart makes a good witch. Do you think she'll ever relent and make you a dark Justicier? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. Mommy issues? For this, I hope my time will yet come. Anton, what the hell are you looking at? That's my girl. I don't understand. Why be so secret about such an ambition? Dark Justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely bulk at a Justicier in their midst. But. There's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind.
These are dark times, friends. Dark, dark times. We have entered the Shadow Curse, and it appears as if there is a building down there that is being protected by some sort of moon bubble. Hmm. Harpers. I was told by the dragons back on a beer that harpers may stand in my way. Not be afraid to slaughter them whenever they may cross my path. I've got a long road ahead. Stay together. Keep to the light! Yeah, Michael. Stop! Who's there? This is new for me. I'm a sorcerer. So kindly lower your weapons or things might get ugly. Very ugly. So you can fry us alive? I don't think so. Come into the light! Hands high! Hmm. I don't like these harpers. Jonas! Move in! Like a legit movie. Dude, this is sick, man. Just coming in from this angle. Like, I never got this cutscene before. Move. I'll take care of this. Don't let it get hold of you. Harpers, now! Okay, well, we're going to be fighting with the Harpers for a second. They didn't really stand in our way yet, so... We don't want to make powerful enemies if we don't necessarily have to, you know what I'm saying? Okay, these are shadows. Radiant vulnerability. I know just the spell. I know just the spell. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, technically, I think these guys are the enemy of the guy that I want to join, so... It doesn't really work out like that, but... In this moment right now, I don't think we're looking to get taken over by Harpers and Shadows at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Alright, you guys ready for one of the best spells in the game?
should have done that before, but that's okay. I did a ton of damage on my sorcerer right there. Holy crap. I don't think that the Harpers will get hit by my Spirit Guardians, but I'm not entirely sure. These guys are level 5, so yeah, we should be able to handle this. The enemy of my enemy is at least not my enemy yet. Vandal Hearts? No, I haven't. Yeah, I know that I can press T. I'm just not in the habit of doing it right now. I'm going to try to get into the habit of it. That was a good scene. Like your game's bugged out a little bit right now though. Dragonborn looks like he's cosplaying as a macho man. All right, um, T. Really radiant damage. Everything else is just not good against these creatures. Um, what about force? Did it say anything on force? Okay, magic missile's not bad. Thing is, I don't even need to waste a spell slot. Shadowheart's turn's coming up and she's gonna wipe the field, trust me. Damn, dude. Harpers are getting owned right now by a bunch of shadows. Gotta save the dwarf. You know what I think was a majorly missed opportunity out of Larian? was a dwarf companion. Oh, man. I would have loved it so much. Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> Just let Shadowheart handle this entire fight. So cool, isn't it? Okay, so that guy's up here. Let's go ahead and be affected by the. Sh really, with spirit guardians? I mean, people aren't grouped up that well right now, but all you gotta do is just run around the battlefield. See ya. Oh, not dead yet. Wow. We're gonna dash over to here. Could do spiritual weapon too, but we're fine. Moonbeam would fry this guy in one one attack. Sure, we'll do that. Why not? Damn the sound! It sounds like the Grudge, doesn't it? That light is protecting me from the curse. Yeah, so I got to be careful when I'm walking around here because I'm getting cursed. Love this fight for an intro into this land. So you must have come this way too, Shy. You came from Grimforge. Yeah, because mine was totally different. The way I met the Harpers was they were setting up an ambush as I was venturing through the land with that Dryder character. The Harpers set up an ambush and they attacked, but I helped them as opposed to going against them on my other character. Yep, Helsin and Minthara, the non-origin characters. Okay, so you just gotta watch your movement when you're doing this. So if we go right here... Damn it, I didn't hit him. Still alive, really. Moonbeam is such a cool spell. Oh yeah, Jahira Minsk, yeah. Jahira and Minsk. You don't meet Minsk for a long time though. I 
I think it's pretty cool that Larian has like a bunch of characters that are, all of them are companions, but only some of them are origin characters. I think that fits better too. Like playing as Jahira or Minsk as an origin character wouldn't, mm, wouldn't be, I mean, I think it'd be okay, but they're established characters in the realms. I think they fit better as just companions. And Thara and Helsin, I can see them being an origin character. Maybe Larian just ran out of budget. All right, we're going to save spell slots. Where did that shadow creature go? Is he... Oh, damn. I wonder where he is. I wonder if I can... Hmm. I don't know where the creature went. I think he's somewhere up there, but... Oh, Starion's encumbered right now, too. Just drop that. I don't need that. Oh, I can't do it on my turn. sound effects i wouldn't have made it without your help we need to get out of here there's a safe place follow me hmm. <sighs> okay. all right seems like the harpers have instilled a little bit of trust into us right now maybe we should just roll with this you know what i mean it would be a powerful ally to have for the time being, and then the future, I plan on destroying them. Lead on. Stay close, and try avoid the shadows. I'm sorry, Jonas. I have not played Dark Urge yet. Nope. Won't be probably for a little while. That shadow's still alive, apparently. Holy crap. Well, some rests better than none. <laughs> The image of an orange-haired cat asleep before a fireplace comes to you. What came of it? In her former life, this girl played in the nearby woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. Oh, I thought that was going to go a different way. made a mess of things again the night before. Nice, we picked up a regular cloak. That'd be pretty cool. Let's put it on, let's put it on Shadow. You're gonna have the full witch look going here. Whoa, dude, my shadow is so perfect right now. Don't you guys agree? Doesn't she look great? I feel like I'm going to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This vessel is- Anton, shut the hell up. You say that one more time, I swear to God, I'm thunder waving your ass off a cliff next to Elfira. Maxi. I'm playing a bad guy on this one. It doesn't mean I need to just kill everybody that that I see. You know, it's not necessarily a murder hobo run, so. He had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. Is that blood? No. no okay, we still have a ton to explore. Swift as my feet can carry me. Well, let's go check this out. I was hoping that would get a waypoint. I think we get a waypoint when we get to the last light in. 
I just want to double check and make sure we're good at still doing like the mountain pass and everything. The mountain pass content is phenomenal. I think I liked it more than this area right here. Are you kidding me right now? I've never seen this combat encounter before. Oh shit. It was like 7,000 crows. Is this serious right now? We're gonna have to turn undead here. Oh my. What? Dude, is this serious right now? Damn, dude. That was crazy. That's like the first time I ever like legit actually needed turn on dead in this game. And that worked out really, really well because I have the upgraded turn on dead. Shadow is money. She really is. I was thinking about doing spirit guardians first. It's a good thing I didn't. I mean, that would have probably wrecked most of the crows too, but. All right, we don't need to loot them. Okay, let's, um, we got to take a long rest. Dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. I did the Raphael quest in this area. It's pretty cool. So if you guys get it, I would recommend doing it. You get some good loot too. Why do you want to see him? Help me find him, and you'll find out. Okay. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. Okay. I think we'll probably... We're going to side with Astarion here, because he's one of the few companions here that actually... I feel like is okay with my evil ways, and is a good ally to have throughout this campaign for what I'm looking to achieve. 
Sure. I want to see how this plays out. Perfect. I knew you would understand. Long rest deep in shadows. Found out that the Warlock level 5 second attack doesn't stack with the Paladin. That is not 5e rules and probably will not remain. Yeah, I've heard a few things about multi-classing with Warlocks not working as good as it should, but... Alright, I think we're good here. Um, I love the mini camp system in this game. Can you imagine if, like, every time we went to rest, it was always back at the river camp? Another step forward. I gotta make sure that I don't lose, um... I gotta make sure that I don't lose the chance to get Minthara. That is something that I will save scum if that ends up happening, because we need Minthara in our group. We need to learn about her character and we need a frontline tank. Eighty eight, get out of here. You like the vampire elf? Well written. I think all the, the companions the are actually really well written. Strong here. I'm getting stronger. My girl. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. It's a good thing you decided to infiltrate the cultists rather than fight them. The Absolute has already mustered an impressive army, and its forces still grow. Does what happened in the grove bother you? I haven't lost any sleep over it. I respect that. Not many have the ability to know what they want and do what they want, regardless of the needs of others. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. <laughs> right. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. Coming to an understanding is much easier while wearing only underwear. Needs a foil hat. It's clear that the parasites are coming from Moonrise Towers. Okay. You like the idea of always going back to the river camp? Yeah, it, I mean, I guess it would be nice to have a home base that you can just decorate all the time, but, like, it doesn't make sense, like, immersion-wise, though, because we're traveling to the city. River camp, is it, is it a mobile river camp? <laughs> There's something I've been wanting the land to travel with, with us? If now's a good time. What brought this on? Honestly, trust. I can't remember the last time I sought to confide in someone like this. Maybe I never have, for all I know. But now it just feels... right. It's difficult to put into words. I think oh, it might be easy be to just show you. You guys ready for this? Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm assuming you only get this if you have decent Shadowheart approval. Of course I do, as a natural. As a natural Shadowheart romancer. Use the parasite to explore her mind. She wants to share a blunt? I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. Yeah, Snorris, and thanks for hanging out. I was fleeing. It is, I feel. I totally understand that struggle.
she asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shah. You feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Sounds like abuse, Shadow. Abuse? Nonsense. The Mother Superior made me strong for the Dark Lady. You guys ready? We're getting up to a coming up to a really good part here. Ready. This place is protected. You might find allies here, or at least supplies. And when I found out that Shadowheart hates wolves or was scared of wolves, it was an interesting moment. I had my wolf companion out at the moment, I think that I discovered that too. I had lovely fern. Shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Music's so good here. Love this song. Need more dwarves, Larian. Anyone who played the original Baldur's Gate games, this is a pretty big moment. She's one of the more well-known companions. She's a half-elf, so she's still alive. A magic incarnate. These vines will not hold me. They'll last long enough. Magic incarnate. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. It'd be funny if you save the village on this run, I know, right? come here, true soul. On my evil run, I end up saving the village, and on my good run, everybody dies. Okay, so we're trying to RP this to where, you know what I mean, like, I mean, we're in the Harper's complex right now. We probably want to get along with them. But at the same time, Jahira seems to be kind of uh, torturing me a little bit here. And I don't like being held like this. I feel quite vulnerable, especially as a dragonborn. Let's do Sorcerer Charisma. Force your own magic through the vines, weakening them. Damn, just got it. Nostalgia, I know, right? Isn't it incredible to see Jahira? It really is. Step 
stand down! Or we'll put you down! Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. It's not smart to engage in battle with the Harper's faction like this on their territory. So we're going to play along. And hopefully, maybe talk our way out of this situation. And then make a plan in the future. Hold. I can explain everything. I'm not interested in the absolute manipulations. Harpers, cut this true soul down! Stop! Hold on, Jahira. I think I know this one. His eyes meet yours. There's no recognition there. Just a sick intensity as his voice reverberates in your A mind. true soul. If you want to survive this, then trust me. One true soul to another. He's infected. I... But he's not with the cultists. They helped me fight them off a while back, in fact. Is this true? That dappled fist thinks we're his allies. No need to correct him just yet, if he can help us. Nod. How is that possible? The weave itself burns through my veins. Perhaps the tadpole is afraid. I've met no sorcerer that powerful. And I've met many. Now speak plain. How do you have control? Jahira, I know it's hard to trust anyone right now, but believe me, I am not an absolute cultist. Not good enough. in the house is that thing oh it's so hard Amy's it is so hard need the friends cantrip your guess is as good as mine hmm. strangest magic I've seen since roaming the ruins of Myth Draenor but That's I awesome. can't argue with the results congratulations You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. Okay, we avoided I'll combat. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. <laughs> Tell me. Why have you come here? Nothing like deceiving Jahira. A legend of the land. Mad Max, hello. Thanks so much for the 999. Love the late night streams with the Wolf Clan. Cheers, man. Thanks for stopping in, as always. How's he increase his inventory size? I don't think you can actually expand the inventory anymore like you could in early access. Um, but if you want to be able to carry more, you gotta have a higher carry you gotta have a higher strength on your character. I think strength might be the only ability score. Where having an odd number might actually ha have some sort of benefit. I could be wrong in saying that, but I feel like that's how it is. I'll have to test that out sometime, but... Pretty much any ability score that you have as an odd number is not doing you anything on the odd number. 
But I think strength actually does help. So if you have to make like one ability score odd, strength is usually not a bad idea. If that's true, and I'm like 70% sure that is true. Okay, 60%. 50% true. My intentions are my own. Not anymore. Not with so much at stake. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard, in case mm -hmm. the vines gave you a rash. Any coconut Settling. oil? You know what I'm saying? Come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Yeah. Something like that, Jahira. Blood, this is heavy. Man, such an epic intro scene for Jahira. It's crazy. So good. Like the flag I'm drinking from matches games, but thanks. I try to pull it out as much as I can to keep uh, keep all of us immersed, even when drinking water. Yeah, really cool, uh, really cool section here, the last light in. And actually, I'm gonna do something that some of you guys might not know. Be an interesting start to the last light in. Stumbled across this in my other run by accident. Um, let's go ahead and go into wild shape. And we'll do badger. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Seems like a good moment to talk. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. <laughs> Brother, I assaulted the druid's grove. That's funny. So these ox some of these oxes were back at the druid's grove with the tieflings. How'd you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Okay. Glad to see you made it too, bro. I remember you from the grove with the druids. I hope to see you again. Yeah, about and the druids. Druids ain't here no more. No. Incapable. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. You're a rare breed. An authentic red-backed river ox. I thought you'd be more discerning. Well. Come close. Your mind to mine. <laughs> How does an ox like yourself have such horrifying thoughts? It's a talent. I'll trade you your secret for one of mine. I'm not a busybody. You ought to use me as an example, or you might get yourself in trouble. Is that a threat? That's up to you. Whatever you are coming out of hiding now all i wanted was a bit of hay a good brushing and a clean stall the simple life is that so much to ask a strange ox level five ooze that's funny I fireball his ass 163 HP holy crap dude way less HP on balanced okay do I actually have to might have to back up here I have to do this right He was fun to kill. The Mass Effect 1 reference. Okay, these oxes are not evil yet. Let's do... Oh my god. I, I was looking at the chat. Danton got one shot by this thing? What the hell just happened? Are you serious? That's crazy. Might have to go all out here. Calling in spiritual weapon, absolutely. 
Anton got murdered. I didn't even see it happen. Oh, we got this guy. Let's do a... Do, 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 do. He's not vulnerable to anything. Really do whatever we want. Spiritual weapon is so good. Like, even if it dies on the first round, that guy just used his action. And didn't attack any of my party members. And spiritual weapon you're able to cast as a bonus action. I mean, it does cost a spell slot, but... Alright, let's kill this damn thing. Dude, it is so powerful. Holy crap. When I did this fight on balance, like I was like sleeping. I was just in his face, just swinging away with Karlak and everybody. By the way, having Karlak in the last light in is really cool because she's like a fangirl over Jahira. It's cool to see like lore like that implemented. Karlak has heard of Jahira before. Okay, all right, now we gotta get serious. You freaking kidding me right now, dude? Let's do a... Yeah, we're gonna do a Scorching Ray, level three. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm gonna back up. Nobody's helping me here, are they? We'll do a Rapier attack. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, here we go. Okay, this freaking ooze just three. Holy crap, he almost TPK'd me. This is insane. I was almost TPK'd by a freaking ooze and I still might be actually. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Oh, in mid cast, I realized. I realized mid cast that this thing is, oh my God, resistant to lightning. Oh, now we got a major problem. Now we actually got a problem. Except I can quicken a spell. Now let's go ahead and quicken magic missile. And I will catch you on the flip side, brother. Damn, dude. I did not expect that. Holy crap. Wow. That was incredible. I think it's strong. Or TPK? Well, it was not a TPK. I'm still alive, Midori. Okay. Get on my level, bro. Take your health. That took the edge off. Actually, before you do a short rest, you should use the spells that recharge on a short rest, like wild shape type things. Okay, so I got Symbiotic Entity active, and then... Oh, da -da 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 I don't know if Symbiotic Entity state... No, it goes away if you Wild Shape, so we'll leave it at that. Um, Shadowheart leveled up, but I don't want to level up everybody without her, so we're not going to level her up. Let's do another short rest. And yeah, that was pretty crazy. The Hat of Fire Acuity. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn. Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls. Okay. We're definitely going to put that on. Definitely going to put that on. Because I have fire resistance too. I'm going to just do all fire gear. We're going to start using gear that gives you heat. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know if I can get rid of the state trooper look, though. And you know, it's kind of badass, too. I think if I dye it, it'll look much better. We'll dye it a certain color, okay? And then the shapeshifter's boon ring. 
While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a 1d4 bonus to all checks. So we would give that to Danton, even though he's not really a shape-changing druid. And we're going to hold off on leveling up Shadowheart. to reinforce the barricade we gonna see any gelatinous cubes that would be pretty cool longest i've seen someone play with a hireling i'm waiting for minthara to join my group that's why and then i'm gonna replace danton i figured i would keep playing the spore druid because it's not really a common class so hey that's close enough artifact hey, Jeremy. I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give I'll it a just... rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. What party is it that I'm crashing? Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn. Bro. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Hmm. Look at this flaming fist logo. Look how well done that is. Like it actually looks like stitching. Like it looks like cloth. That's incredible, Larry. If they're in the aftermath. If I was there in the aftermath, I don't suppose Counselor Floric made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. Oh wow. She's inside. One no of the way. Ground floor chambers. It's crazy. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. <laughs> This is crazy. So, Counselor Floric, I never, I, I wasn't able to save in time on my other run, and now she was saved, and now she's here at the last light in. Like, that's super cool. Okay, let's talk to a few more people. Husband's in Act 3. He's evil. Shadows lurking. But he's a murder hobo. Light to inside. Funny. Look. Okay. Tavern Brawler's OP. Murdering people with a sausage. Nice. Pretty much doing multi-classing. Trying to work out Warlock Paladin. Yeah. I mean, Pact of the Blade is probably... I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i not really like an expert on D&D multi-class. I still have to experiment with it in this game. But Pact of the Blade, multi-class with Paladin. Initially, I would think that that's a very good idea because Pact of the Blade allows you to use your Charisma modifier for your weapon attack. So, yeah, so you could essentially... You you could kind of dump strength and just boost up Constitution and all of your saving throws and just become this crazy tank damage dealer. You still probably want your strength decent because strength high strength characters can jump around the battlefield and get places get further distances than most other characters but hey i would think pack to the blade and you just go all out on charisma and constitution and maybe like wisdom saves or something like that dexterity too for initiative actually maybe dexterity over over wisdom try to get that dex high you could be like the one who goes first in combat that'd be terrifying Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can find Counselor Floric real fast. Yeah, one of the biggest drawbacks of the Paladin is you're kind of like fighting over strength and charisma. When you do Pact of the Blade with the Warlock, you don't have to fight over that anymore. You have like a pri your primary ability score is charisma. That's pretty sweet for the Paladin. The Paladin's already strong as it is. Okay, yeah, so this is... Uh, Wow, Counselor Flora, this is going to be all new content for me right here. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you found a way in. Yeah, it's really cool that they put the playtesters in the credits, I feel. I'm assuming that your name is in there. Because you went to Canada to playtest, and I, I was very happy that they put my name in there, too. They definitely didn't need to do that, so it was a pleasant surprise. 
is different from if you save the tieflings too, really? All right, let's focus in. I don't suppose you found a way in. What's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. It beggars belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. I don't mean to break the immersion of this conversation, but now I'm thinking about something else. What Zaphiel said. I, that's super light. Like, that's that's just the type of company that Larian Studios is. Like, they put all the playtesters in the credits of their game. Like, they took the time to do that and recognize those folks that helped playtest the game and ultimately helped, you know, the game become what it is. That's just really cool for Larian to do that. Like... I don't think like Blizzard or any maybe, maybe other companies do that too but I don't know I'd like to talk to him wouldn't we all I'm not even sure he's fully conscious but feel free to new face will inspire him unfortunately I won't be here when he comes around I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements the council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks the Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Yeah, true, Kbar, absolutely. Alright, so my dragon is not a Baldurian, so we're not going to say that. We're going to do, uh, what are the Steel Watch? The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives. Except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower, whatever Ketherick throws at us. I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse or the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. You know, I thought Floric was, I mean, I don't have no idea what her character is going to turn out to be, but when I was in early access, I was like convinced that she was like a spy or some really evil character. And uh, ever since the full game, I don't know, I'm starting to think she might be a good character, but I don't know. Yeah, what is this lunatic doing over here? Art color. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Thanio and me Climb, climb, climbing up the tree. I know, Thaniel. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just. wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the Shadowfell, yet it has not broken. Counselor Floric was in early access, Zachary. She's at Walking's Rest, and you can save her by moving the burning rubble, or you can let her die in the fire. She actually gives some pretty nice weapons. Um, the bow that I have on Astarion right now is from me saving Counselor Floric a couple episodes ago. That name he mentioned, Thaniel, who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. Let me have a look at him. If you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Ooh, look at this. Detect thoughts or sorcerer arcana. 
We only get a plus one, but that's our best chance here. Look for any signs of errant magic afflicting this man. He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharon realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. His mind lingers in the Shadowfell, but perhaps it can be returned. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe. Yeah, so if you guys watched um, my lore video, I forget what it's called. The thumbnail says Shadowfell on it. Um, you would know all about what happens to folks who spend too much time in that plane of existence. All right, look closer at him. There may be something you missed. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Flame color. Do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. Nice, Zaphia. Yeah, that's awesome. Super cool. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. She gives it to me and my character just puts it in his back pocket. <laughs> what, was in his pocket? what were you saying, Astarion? Assigny Art Color, Rank Flame. Objective, to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs. Headed by Ketheric Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. The region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saluna, but rumors indicate a Sharan enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Grand Duke Elton. of healing wonder what he found so many quests that you just like so many that you're never going to get on, on on your run if things don't go a certain way we found art's last orders to investigate the house of healing if we follow in his footsteps we might learn more about him heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers Doing your job, you mean. <laughs> A good soldier knows when he isn't the man for the job. So saith Floric. So saith the wise Alando. way into the towers, we'll be there, shield to shield. Until then, we wait. Seems like a nice guy. But I can't I can't get attached to any of these characters, man. You know, I got I got my goals. And my power must be achieved. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. The hell did you just say to me, Shorty? With haste. If you're poking around this God's forsaken place, you must have someone in Moonrise, too. Hope you find them. Softies. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll talk to Fist Aubrey, too. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravenguard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. I don't give a shit about this Grand Duke Raven. I mean, yeah, sure. Actually, a really good item back here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, is that a cat? We must speak cat to cat. <laughs> it's got your whiskers in a twist. This is my territory, and you're in it. I wonder if this is unique at all to the cat form. Probably not. It's probably for any wild shape. My intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mm, I'll allow it. Quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. 
You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. Damn, Scurvy. You're sticking with it, though? Good for you. Things happen, you know? You love Helson's voice actor? Absolutely. All right, let's quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we're going to do Guidance with Shadow because there is a check in here. We're going to give it to... Much longer must I languish here. I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but the blasted toll house keeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. Something out about this village. People skulk around like they've something to hide. The shrines to the moon maiden seem ill intended and barren. I hope to learn more about Ketherick Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they are also create a fifteen foot circle of ice around the target. Actually, not too shabby if you have an open ring slot and you have, like... I don't need this ring. Get this... Get it out of here. What do I need light for? If you have an open ring slot and you have the cantrip Ray of Frost. Or if you use Ice Knife or Glyph of Warding. Actually, Glyph of Warding already does the... We'll put it on, sure. Alright, let's... Um, let's see... Wow, man, look at this. Wouldn't it be incredible to be here? Just hanging out with Jahira. Time to press ahead. I like how nothing you can take anything you want here. It doesn't say that it's stealing. More for me. Please. Be welcome. Nice Have rap. A drink. To your very good health. I'm not thirsty. Indulge me. Decline. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? It's trying to change me, to win me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. And you're certain you will continue to resist? We'll see. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? I'm interested in saving my own skin, not yours. Whether you trust me is immaterial. I won't begrudge you that. But our interests align. Mm -hmm. And I hope no loyalty of that thing in your head to the Absolute will interfere with our salvation. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. If he's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. 
took to building an army of dark justiciars beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Invincibility? That's powerful magic. Thankfully, I have my own. And the wit to know when it will not avail you, I think. We must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at mm -hmm. Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Ketherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Yeah, okay, we're gonna play along. Etheric's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it, Jihira. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel. A faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Yeah, the scrolls are expensive. All right, we have uh, we have deceived Jahira. Isabel's the problem is, I'm just trying to think how I want to play this out because. On my other run. I don't know how I can play this without siding up with Marcus. Like, I want a different outcome, but I also don't want... I also... I want a different outcome from my first run, but at the same time, like, I, I want to RP my character the evil route correctly. Ozo Bell. <laughs> This is a really cool scene coming up, so get ready. You stayed standoffish to my paladin. I got natural charm rep. What can I say? You know. My oh. old friend. Oh. Very good to see you again. Clever Rouge showing off your little artifact. Jahira was all too hey, eager Megan. to believe you. Explain the excitement to my non-gaming husband. My family just doesn't get this. Okay, let's see. Um, are we the only true souls in this place? Now remember, my character is very interested in the Absolute, in working up the ranks, in standing side by side with the Absolute to achieve ultimate power. That seems like the most appealing path to him as of right now. So seeing another true soul here, we're very interested in talking to this guy. Are we the only true souls in this place? For now. I suppose General Thorne sent you to help with my mission. That's all right. I don't mind sharing the glory. This man takes orders from General Thorne. Helping him may be just what you need to gain deeper access to the cult. Hmm. What is your mission here? Isabel. The Salunite cleric that guards this place. General Thorne wants her alive. 
Why that cleric specifically? The general speaks for the absolute, and I don't question the absolute. I can take the cleric myself. I won't waste time in a petty tug of war. We'll do this together. We've got the cleric alone. Now's the time. All right, so on my other run, I exposed him to Isabel, turned into combat. He ultimately won that combat encounter and took Isabel with him to Moonrise Towers. So I'm very curious what's going to happen if I team up with him right now, how that whole cutscene will play out. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to call it a night, but we still might have like another 15, 20 minutes. What's up, Callum? How are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. Some of you guys might know Callum Upton in the chat right now. Runs a fantastic YouTube channel. Make sure you guys look him up. Thanks for stopping in, man. Hope you're doing well. I met Callum over in Belgium last month. Power is the goal. I want Saluna Cleric to join me. It's definitely interesting thinking about her actually joining your group and then you going through the Shadow Curse lands with her by your side. But I'm not exactly sure how that works because I haven't had that outcome occur yet. Okay, let's press on. Let's get moving then. Isabel's on the balcony. Should be nearly done with her prayers. Let's go say Up, hello. Turkey. Okay, get ready for a really cool cutscene. Y'all ready? Should I do it with my cat? <laughs> let's send the cat up first. See if the cat can up proc the cutscene. That'd be kind of funny. Damn, what a cool character right here. Dark Vision, Defy Villainy, Fan, Ancestry Opportunity Attack, Potent Spellcasting, Saluna's Protection. While the wearer has Mage Armor, each successful saving throw causes the source of the saving throw to take 1 to 4 Radiant Damage. Cool character. Oh, I can't activate the scene with the cat. Never mind. I thought that would have been funny. Take it back. Torches protect mortal souls from a shadow curse. Dousing one is considered a crime. Listen. Couldn't get the cutscene to proc, but there we go. I pressed on the torch. I wanted to talk to the torch. What's wrong with that? How do you get him there? You talking about Marcus? Marcus should already be here, regardless of what you do, I think. Oh, I can't I wait to get her up. I had an audience. Isabel, this is... The true soul who's going to save us all. Pleased to meet you. I know your name, but little else. Care to enlighten me? I am a cleric of Our Lady of Silver, the moon goddess, Saluna. As long as I keep channeling her power, this inn stays uncursed. A defense to your offense. We've been waiting, hoping against hope for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. I feel like Shadowheart would step in here. And look how good she looks. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. 
But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <laughs> nice. Anything else I should know before heading out? I was hoping that I still had that response where I could say you're coming with me. But that's gone now. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Marcus, what's wrong? <laughs> Isabel, I've just gotten word. I need you to come with me. Do you hear his orders? Come with you? Where? Let's do this. Remember... Catherick wants her alive. Okay. What the hell is going on? Look at all the choices. Just go quietly, Isabel. He doesn't want to hurt you. You? You're one of them, aren't you? What fools you both are. Catherick will never give you whatever it is he's promised you. <laughs> He already has. Yes. Look at those bone wings. Time to go, Isabel. Okay, so I'm assuming that all these are going to be on my side right now. Turn on non lethal and use the sleep spell. Why would I do such a thing? Who do you think you're watching right now? Iconia has to hear his favorite cleric. Remember, Catherine wants you alive, no matter what. Okay, that's why you want non lethal on. <laughs> this actually might be the first legit use of non lethal attacks. Have you tested that out before? Megan, thanks for the 999 super chat. I appreciate it. Favorite NPC in the game is Majesty. Thank you. Lizard dude with a wizard hat? Hey, watch who you're calling a lizard, brother. Okay. All right, you watch you're calling a damn lizard. Okay, well, I mean, this is similar to my other run, but uh, yeah, it's different because all of these <laughs> wing tours are on my side right now. That makes it a little bit easier. Um, Jahira is still showing as yellow. Interesting. Why is Jahira yellow? Why is Jahira yellow right now? Okay, well. Let's go kick some ass. We're going to turn on non-lethals. This might be like legit the first uh, the first non-lethal use here. I don't know. Where it actually has an effect on the game. <laughs> nice, Astarion. Respect, brother. Oh, wait. What was that other thing that I just had? Where did Marcus go? Oh. Whoa, he's on the bottom floor. Okay. All right, let's do... Um, you got to be careful, though. I don't want to do too much damage. Fireball. <laughs> like she might have some crazy spells. Yeah, get the hell out of here. There goes Jahir. Oh, damn. Jahir just took a critical hit. Don't let her heal. Gonna have to drop a little uh, bone chill. What do you think about that? I'm definitely staying in cat form, absolutely. <laughs> Cat's got two HP. All right, Shadow. Oh, Shadow would love killing Isabel right now because Shadow hates Saluna. So let's go ahead and drop. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous right now. I don't know how to non-lethally kill Isabel because I'm trying to stay in Catherick's favor. I gotta be careful with what I do. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Don't have the heart to go evil, Mitch. Everyone there is gonna die. Doesn't know what happens. 
I mean, yeah, I guess. She doesn't know what my decision was. Yeah, okay. True. True. We are in a back room up here. Yeah, Isabel could call out for help. Just gonna keep healing. Next playthrough is gonna be the Dark Urge. Nice. Can't wait to try Dark Urge myself. What's up, Kit? Alright, sounds good, man. Enjoy your run. Are you sure? I think non-lethal non just has to be any melee weapon. It uh, doesn't matter if it's bludgeoning or anything. Look, must be unarmed or using a melee weapon. Doesn't work on undead and constructs. Unless there's a hidden rule that I don't know about. We gonna find out. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh no, okay, it's just minus one to attack rolls. Sometimes you just gotta bite Isabella, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I'm going to um, do one magic missile. Six to shit, that's risky as hell. One match I'm doing one magic missile, and the rest are gonna be on the ground. Okay, good. I only did two damage. Beautiful. We're good. Not lethal works on ranged weapons in 5e, so that's a change that Larian made. Next playthrough, I'm doing either Shadow, Origin, or Female, Seldarine, Drow, Sorcerer, and taking Helsin and Lazel. Respect. I respect that. Alright, Kat, you just stay there. You're useless. I don't think I can get outside right now. Blocking the whole door. Getting shot in the knee knocked you out, though. Will I stream my Dark Urge playthrough? Yeah, I'm not against that. I know I'm going to get age-restricted for certain streams, but yeah, in the future, maybe? We'll, yeah, we'll see. You know, after I do my one offline run, my Let's Play series, every time I play from there on out, probably will be on stream. It's really hard to find time as a video creator, play a game offline, and do a stream series at the same time. Like, it's really hard to find time. The only reason why I'm doing it right now is because Baldur's Gate 3 is so important to me. I wanted to experience the game not on stream. And I decided to try a Let's Play series for the first time in my life, and to my surprise, I'm a, it's doing pretty well, so I appreciate you guys watching that. Doing Let's Play videos is like a dream come true. That's literally a dream job. That's like, I literally turn on the thing, light commentary, and play a game. Like, that's some easy shit right there. <clears throat> I've avoided it for so long because it's not a good way to grow a channel. Everything else that you do on YouTube, uh, you know, comes with its pluses and minuses. A lot of hard work. Um, but I'm very happy to be, be doing a Let's Play series. But after the Let's Play series is over, I, I gotta... My time's... My time's gonna be better spent doing streams, so I'll probably be doing live streams for every every run after that. Wiz, thanks for the ten gifted memberships, you absolute lizard man. Oh, thanks, Wiz. This is really bad positioning. What am I doing right now? I should have moved a Starion out of the way. I can't even shoot a spell because I don't want to kill her. Thanks, Wiz. Look at that. Look at all the new members. Welcome, y'all. Love the Let's Play. Thanks. You know, hopefully uh, it's a bit of a learning experience for me and because even though it's not like that hard to do, like work-wise, a little bit time-consuming editing videos and making sure like if there's any major bugs, like I have to re-record something or something like that. But um, hopefully I can figure out a nice style for Let's Plays and then do more in the future. Because like I said, that's literally like a dream, like a dream come true to, to do content like that. So this is such bad positioning. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Uh-oh, a little bit worried. Passives are on. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. I need extra attack. Nicholas, thank you for the 500 yen, I believe that is. Thanks for the great content. Watching the Let's Play since I don't have time by myself. Good to have a very different style in this Sorlock run. Thanks a lot, man. Can you please win with the cat? I can try. Is fire Fighter valid? Absolutely. Every class in this game is valid. If you're playing on balance, I mean, even Tactician too, every class is valid. But if you're playing on balance, every class is 100% valid. The Fighter's a very good class. Action Surge, 
boosted up ability scores. I mean, it might be a little bit underwhelming. Not as many things to choose from, but... Possible to play a good Dark Urge from everything I've seen, yes. Your past is your past, though, so... But it's possible to turn that around, I think, yes. Okay, pretty much the same ending as I got on my run. <laughs> it's very similar to what I did on my good run. Um, with that said, there's a key difference here. Marcus knows that I helped him defeat Isabel so he could take Isabel to the towers. On my other run, I exposed Marcus for being a true soul. He ended up winning the fight, though, and taking Isabel. So I'm assuming that Larian probably has, like, a permutation for what I did versus what I did on my Let's Play series. Um, but yeah, this is not a fight that I was looking to get. I'm freaking hungry and thirsty. Are you kidding me? I got to go through this entire combat encounter? <laughs> Shit. Damn it, man. Gotta be shiting me right now. One takes forever too. Oh yeah, we can always save too and come back. All right, we'll start it a little bit though. Let's kill these guys here in the in the middle. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else want to die? Okay. So the first thing we got to do is we got to get to high ground with this character. A scroll of misty step would be great right now. I have very minimal maneuverability with him. I think I already used my misty step scroll. I did. All right. Well. I guess in that case, might as well just cast Fireball, right? Oh, Void Bulb Fireball would be epic. I got an idea. Let's see if we can do that. Whoa, cat, stop! Holy crap. Cripe's sake, dude. Do we have a Void Bulb? Are you serious? I don't have a Void Bulb? This is ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> Music's so good. Time to push my luck again. These boots have seen everything. We shall not fall. The sea step is a must have. I plan on getting it at some point. A little entertainment. Didn't feel like a net needle in act one. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's start off with Spiritual Weapon. We're going to cover our backside here. Actually, front side. And then it's time for the one and only Spirit Guardians. But actually, it's probably better to do Mirror Image first. It definitely is. Shit, I just... I just used up all my spell slots. Oh my god. Guess no spirit yeah, guardian. Thanks, Hexican. Appreciate it. All right. Well, let's we'll see. What are we going to do here? Let's kill this little <laughs> stupid little halfling. Yeah, we don't like halflings, right? According to the Larian statistics, halflings are one of the least popular races next to Gith Yankee. The wrinkly, wrinkly aliens. All right. Let's do... um. Let's do... Hmm... Um, Why am I at disadvantage right now? Is there dark around here? It is. It's too dark. Crap. Um. Fire. 
That won't affect darkness. All right, Mr. Druid, give me a moonbeam right here. And I actually have a fantastic idea. I'm going to do it in a second. I'm going to use a scroll. Moon shape shifting. Yeah, um, but I'm playing as a spore druid, so spore druids don't typically use wild shape. Because if they wild shape, they lose their symbiotic entity. So that's the reason why you don't see me wild shaping. See many bodies for your zombie commander druid. What's the strongest druid subclass in your opinion? Oh, you know what, Mouse? I think you were talking... I'm, I'm, excuse me. You weren't talking to me. You were talking... I think you were replying to him, so... Forget what I just told you. Um, okay, let's do... We might need a little light in here. Good combo. Let's do a little combination. Watch this. Y'all ready for this? Dude, that's a fireball waiting to happen right there. I find necromancy underwhelming. On my other character, yes, a little bit. On my other run with Gale, I have found it a little bit underwhelming. With that said, I'm still getting used to it and learning it, so... It's kind of annoying, like, activating undead, like... Half the corpses you can't do, and then you gotta have enough corpses to do it, and sometimes you don't. Alright, Astarian, what are you gonna do here, my friend? Poke him with a rapier. Nice. Still breathing, despite everything. Damn, I don't have any more level three spell slots. I'll tell you what we do have though is scrolls. Oh, I have a scroll of fly. That actually would come in use. Wall of stone. No! I don't I don't understand the wall spells yet, and I haven't had a chance to practice them. Ah, oh, shit. I just ruined that. Alright, let's move Moonbeam. Having four zombies punching things though, it's like four bad monks. What level do you get four? Bladesinger Wizard works well for summoning spells. Yeah, it sounds cool. Damn, dude, I just need some spell slots right now. I could toast all these dudes with one fireball. Fireball. Oh, level four spells? Okay. Uh-oh. This is not looking good right now. This is not looking good. No AoE. Shit, dude, I just need all I need is I just need some spell slots and these dudes are toast right now And you know, what? I do have a potion I made that potion earlier that potion of arcane acuity All the fire is a good defensive and offensive yeah, I was going to use the Wall of Stone to cut off these guys from coming in, but it didn't work out. All good. I got to get a Starion back to dual wielding. All right, we got we got fly right now, so let's go ahead and fly. I don't think we take opportunity attacks with that. Nice. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and look at what potions we got here. Gain an additional level two spell slot. Okay, now I have two, but fireball's level three, so that's not gonna help us.
Actually might be it might be time to it might have been time the wild shape right there and say screw the symbiotic entity. I already lost it anyways, but it's too late. I've made my decision. Hey, you need the bodies close together. Yeah, just I yeah, I don't get why it's like that. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating because like you might have like two corpses that are just too far. Like, I don't get why you can't just do one. Am, have you, those of you guys that have played Necromancer, is there a way to, to only do like if you have like two undead summons, is there a way to only do one? I didn't see a way to do that. I might be wiping here. This is not looking good at all. Like seriously. This is not looking good at all. Shit. Yeah, I don't have like anything right now. All I can think about is food right now. Food, 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 food. Not even worth getting him up. He's just gonna get knocked back down. But at the same time, Take two, two. that was my last spell slot. That was stupid. Not sure if he can level up mid fight. Be cool if it gave me full HP again. Click one and then the green check mark if there's one. Okay, click one and then the green check mark if there's one. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could pick him up. That's that's a good point. But at the same time, it's still kind of a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? But yeah, good thinking. All right, let's um. I think I can still probably win this, maybe. Damn man, that really bad. Po My party members are in horrible positions right now. back you know what would take care of all this right now spirit guardians one more fireball one spirit guardians and this fight is over even like a place where I could get off a fireball though because my companions are kind of mixed in between all of it. I'd have to do like a suicide fireball. <sighs> oh, I have one sorcery point. Cost a bonus action to create a to create another one, and then I might be able to create a level two spell slot. That's not going to do me any good. This is uh this is just bad news. This is bad bad stuff, everyone. This is a bad situation. I'm not going to run from it. Greece. 
Ray of Enfeeblement, Stinking Cloud, Scroll of Cloud of Daggers, Blindness. Let's see, where's our lowest level, lowest HP? I want to just do it right there, but Shadow Heart's right in the middle of it. Unfortunate. Look how many Cloud of Daggers I would get off right there. Oh, I should I didn't realize create two sorcery points. Just two companions alive right now. No way to no way to revive the other ones. They don't have the spell slots for it. Look at Shadow Heart right now. This is insane. Just surrounded. I have poison. I don't even have bombs. What about smoke? Good blink. Actually, watch this. If I successfully am able to blink. Oh my god, I got it. No, I didn't. It might be next round. Or I failed the blink. I'm not sure. I don't have any channel divinities left. Or do I? I don't have any revival scrolls now. There she goes. And I got this jackass in my face right now. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, to create a level 3 spell slot, you need 5 sorcery points. That's crazy. Uh. Screw it. Sometimes you gotta just sacrifice your own companions for ultimate damage. <laughs> I should have flew a little bit higher. Oh well. I'm gonna wipe with honor. This is a tough fight when you come out of the Isabel fight. And you're just caught off guard. And then there was one. You're screwed, bro. True, true. Look at Midori. He's ready. He's ready for the TPK. Midori wants it. He can feel it. You know what? I could just save right here. Go get some food. You know what I mean? And you guys will never ever know if I TPK'd or not. I could also never stream again, too. I could just save right here. We could call it a night. Then I start another character next time I go live. You know what I'm saying? All right, I wish I had I really wish I had Gale in my group right now because we would do the suicide bomb. Do you have anything that can just blow up everybody at one time right now? Scroll of fear. Is Shadow, yeah, Shadow is officially dead. So I have no way to even pick anybody up right now. I should probably get some resurrection scrolls at some point. Scroll of stinking cloud, hold person. Well, you know, I do. Oh yeah, I don't even have fly active anymore. I mean, I could just run away with this character. Start retreating. I'm gonna accept my death, okay? Alright, y'all? It's gonna be on my own terms. If I can survive these opportunity attacks, my death is gonna be on my own terms. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that will be a wrap. That would be TPK number three on Tactician. I got wrecked in that fight. You know what? I love it. All right, y'all. You guys have a wonderful night. I got to go get some food and hydrate. And uh, yeah. Um, 
I guess the streaming schedule as of right now is still me just trying to go live at 7 p.m. Eastern as many nights as I can in the week. So uh, if you want to watch more live streams, just check back after 7 p.m. Eastern on the channel. And I may be live. I might not be. And then once we get through the next couple weeks, then I can figure out a more official, consistent streaming schedule. But right now, I'm just doing so much at one time, it's hard to really set a, a time aside for for dedicated streams. So just as many nights as I can at 7 p.m. Eastern, okay? Thanks, Megan. Quiz, thanks for the 10 gifted memberships. When's this game coming out for mobile? Well, it's already out on mobile. If you have GeForce Now, I think you can play on your phone. So, see ya, Replicator. Both your playthroughs are neutral. It's OOC to make dialogue decisions for the good of your party. It makes sense in your other playthrough. Be deceitful. Thanks, Alice. See you back, OEL. UV, peace. Oh, uh, this playthrough hasn't... I don't think I would consider this playthrough neutral. I think I've RP'd it pretty evil so far. Looking for power with the absolute. I think, um, I don't think it would have been a good idea for me to tell Jahira that I want to be an absolute cultist and then just have the entire camp turn on me at the start of this stream right here. I mean, I assaulted the grove with Minthara. It's about the most evil thing you can do in Act 1. I thunderwaved Elfira off the cliff because her singing sucks. And I've embraced my powers so far, and I've worked with every true soul that I've talked to including Marcus. So, I don't think I would call this neutral. Uh, that's just my perspective, though, but whatever you see it as is whatever you see it as, I guess. Uh, my, my ranger is... My, rangels, my ranger is probably on the good side of things. Um, I've done, made some neutral decisions with my ranger, but definitely good overall. But I'm not, I'm not like a... I'm not like a paladin. You know what I'm saying? Like, with Shadowheart on my ranger, I kind of am letting her do her thing, even though I think I know it's wrong. But at the same time, I'm kind of giving her the agency to handle her own problems. I don't know, sometimes I get confused with both of my characters, too. I, I'm, like, schizophrenic right now. Got too many personalities going on. Paladins aren't good. Um, Oath of Devotion and Ancient Paladin. I mean, and generally speaking, they are good. In this game, if you do something evil, you'll break your oath, and then you're an oath breaker, so. In BG3, a Devotion and Ancient Paladin are at large pretty good, I would say, with the oath breaking mechanics that Larian has implemented. A Vengeance Paladin or Oath Breaker is probably the path you're going to have to go if you want to go evil. At least that was my experience with the Paladin when they released it in whatever patch that was in the past. Yeah, I think Vengeance is probably the path that you could go, yeah. Or Oathbreaker. Hey Wiz, thank you for the $20 super chat. And the 10 gifted memberships. You don't have to go to talk to Isabella, just leave and go find the Drider in the tower. Yeah, I'm pretty aware that you can skip a lot of the content in this game, but I didn't want to skip it because I'm trying to experience as much of it as I can. I think people in the chat wanted to see Jahira too. First you let Shadow be light, but the current dark play I'm making her stay Shar. Thanks, Smokey. You didn't break your oath once as a vengeance? Nice. Minthara, I believe, is a vengeance paladin too, so that makes sense. Valerian's letting you play uh, vengeance paladin's evil. Is it even possible to Oathbreak Minthara? Maybe not, because if Vengeance Paladin's oaths can't be broken, then maybe not. I think Minthara's a Vengeance Paladin. Oath of Vengeance is hard to break. I've done lots of morally gray stuff, but it was always in pursuit of slaying of the greater evil. See, Minthara, though, if, if Minthara's a Vengeance Pally, she's definitely evil. So I, I don't know what Larian's view is on that. Because, yeah, like the D&D 5th Edition Vengeance Pally is still fighting for good. They're just not afraid of doing anything to slaughter evil. Okay, but I gotta go find food. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out. You 
kill innocents, you oath break vengeance, Pally. Oh, interesting. Good to know. If you just go up and just like attack the tiefling or something without raiding the grove, you might break it. Whiz. <laughs> I was like two seconds away from hitting the end button. Your donation was going to get denied. Thanks, Wiz. Appreciate it, man. Seriously. I could only add up all of Wiz's gifted memberships and donations over the past couple of years. It would be pretty ridiculous. What part is this? Is this part eight? I don't even know. Part eight. Music in this game is so good. True. Yeah, show your support to Larian's composer. Uh, Bobby uploaded all of the soundtrack on his own YouTube channel. His name is Borislav. I forget his last name. Borislav Slovak? Something like that. And he also update, uploaded all the music on Spotify on his channel as well. I think Larian is like letting him like have, ha even though Larian owns the music, I think Larian's letting him upload on his own YouTube and his own Spotify and probably getting the benefits from that, which is pretty cool. I could be wrong. I'm not sure what his deal is with Larian, but it seems like Larian is letting him do what he wants with his own music, which is really cool. You doing her as a pally of Char? Cool. That's, that's nice. Will his devotion paladin to his patron would be neat. Wizard of Shar. Yeah, Ziki, what he's what he's saying is you can respec companions in this game. So if you want to take if you want to take Minthara, you can respec her into a wizard if you want to. Larian has said that like some of the respecking might mess with their story a little bit, depending on how far you spec away from their original class. But we don't really know like what exactly it does yet. I want to know what happens if you turn Will, if you, if you turn Will into a different class and have no Warlock in him at all. I'm wondering if he still gets like the Mazora patron scenes. That would be the easiest way to test out respecting companions. Okay, goodbye. Thanks, Wiz.